this document that came out is full of things that I'm going to be covering, and it's also full of things that I will be responding in a very visceral way, a very visceral way. So I do apologize for that. Of course, you know, take your time to go through all of it. I do appreciate when you go through all of it. You can skip to portions that you want. You can skip to any portion that you have. I will try to create the, uh, the chapters for it. Just take a look at everything. Take a look at my side. Take a look at every side. And you decide for yourself. That's what I want. Again, things are going to be visceral. So this is like a content warning for that situation. Um, I'm probably going to be cursing a lot. Just letting you know. Again, here is what is going on. Here is the statement that I never thought I was going to have to respond to. I thought I was just going to re remain between myself and Lydia. But Lydia wants to make a hit piece. She wants to... She wants people to harass me. She, By making a statement like this, she wants harassment. By making a statement like this, she obviously wants to hurt me. By making a statement like this, she wants to drop me down to zero. She wants to make sure I don't exist. She wants to make sure my channel disappears from the face of YouTube. You do not make things like this without any communication, without trying to at least air out your grievances. And if you air out your grievances on a thing like this, it is meant to harm. It is meant fully to harm with the full intention of causing as much damage as you can to the person no matter what is actually said in the first statement of um, some screenshots are blurry and it says uh, it says do not bother this person by making this statement she knows that people are going to bother me I'm not asking you to bother this person she may not be asking it but she is weaponizing her community and people who follow her she's weaponizing uh, social media. She is weaponizing her reach because she has reach of legal mindset who has propped her up recently. She has gotten popularity from legal mindset. She has gotten popularity from other people. She is using that popularity to finally be able to make her statement out there. I do not discount the statement as all because I haven't seen it all, but she is using this as an intent to fully destroy me and destroy my image destroy any chance I have of getting any kind of collabs, destroy the chance of me being a VTuber in a comfy community, and destroy my community in and of itself. This is a full-on attack. Don't get it twisted. This is meant to do damage, and it already has. I've already been kicked from servers. I've already been blocked by people. People have already left me messages and such, and I will not share those specifically because I don't want to show more hate. But this already has the intended effect of being the victim and playing the victim. And it is it angers me because no matter what she says here, actions speak louder than words, of course. And I am going to show my side. And like I said before, where I have made mistakes, I will own up to those mistakes. Absolutely. And I will leave it up to you guys to decide whether or not they're worth forgiving or you just move on and go on to someone else. I will respect either way, any decision that you make. Now, first of all, yes, this is my previous channel. Um, and yes, this is the alleged allegations that were put against me. It just happened. It is what it, ha what it is. So I tried a secondary channel, which is Salvia YouTuber, which is the current one that I'm having. Uh, hers is Lydia VTuber. Um, and it says, I'm not making this document as a witch hunt. Yes, you are. Or as a hit piece. It's exactly what it is. But more as a warning to the VTuber community as a whole to keep your eyes peeled when it comes to this individual. Again, this in and of itself just disproves your own statement. You want people to block me. You want people to witch hunt me. You want people to hurt me because you are making this statement. I will not let that happen. I will put it out there for everyone to see and everyone to make a decision. If you choose to remain friends with someone that's your choice, again, playing the uh, guilt card here. She's trying to guilt you into not talking to me, guilt you into not associating with me. Please do not invite me to any collabs with him, discussions, or any mutual servers. She left my server a long time ago. She, uh, I left her server a long time ago. We have not been in a mutual server for a very long time. Uh, we have not been in mutual collabs for a very long time. 
I had on many occasions, uh, I'm a tiny channel. I'm still a tiny channel. The only reach I've ever gotten is on YouTube. On Twitch, I'm tiny. You look at my Twitch. My Twitch has 700 people. And I get maybe five or six views at a time. I've been picking up with the Niti Sanji stuff. But yeah, no, I am in no way, shape, or form a big VTuber. I am in no way, shape, or form backed by people like Legal Mindset and Juni Smoothie and other people. I'm not backed by a big VTuber. I'm not backed by anybody. I'm just myself. And I'm a human. And yes, I have made mistakes. Let's read this part right here. Salve, if you're reading this, I want you to know that I feel hurt and betrayed after four years of friendship with you. I hope you remember when you had one viewer. It was me cheering you on. She did cheer me on. Not to give up. My only wish is that you leave me alone and put a stop to any attempts to imply or allow your community to believe that I have copied you. I don't care if you're covering the same subject, but please differentiate yourself from me. I believe you know more than anyone that you heavily took from my content. I'd like you to just admit it and carve your own path. All right. So that doesn't seem very bad, but he here's some of the... DMs as she shares DMs later on in the story. Let's go down here. Around uh, February 28th, when she made a tweet that we're going to see later on, I asked, did I do something wrong? If I did do something very wrong, let me know, as I do not like doing things to hurt others. I saw your message last night and was going to sleep, so I didn't answer. I want to apologize properly if any actions took pain, caused pain. And then below this, I said whether this was on March 16th, so way before this thing, this whole issue happened. This issue happened around that I started hearing about this around. Well, um, well, actually, no, yeah, a bit of bit a bit before March 16th. I said whether you care or not to read, I'm going to put it here uh, or not. I will still write it. I'm really happy that she has success. I'm really happy that she is having success. That you've been working so hard for all these years. The hard work you have put into your channel and content has paid off. You may not like me at all and may hate me. But I wanted to let you know that I'm still rooting for you to go to even greater heights. And here are some things that we wanted to mention right here, just because I wanted to let you know everything. I had a um, a live stream that blew up. I had 2K uh, current concurrence. I had about 22K uh, full viewers. And right after the whole thing happened, or actually it was during the whole thing happening. You know, it was 10.09 p.m. on my time, so it was after. She says, I'm just going to say, if you're doing podcasts on the same content, why not invite me to chat about it? This is when mine was having 2K concurrence, which I don't have anymore. Honestly, I was going to talk about Sayu, then Niji dropped the bomb. that I did. I'm sorry that I didn't invite, as this threw me for a loop, and my chat sent me the stuff. I will be better. Niji Sanji really is wild, but maybe reined it in now. I feel like the apology from the CEO was the correct words to say, but I don't know if people will believe it at this point. But yeah, not... Just today, if you're planning a podcast type thing, let me know it's not fun. And let's see, um, it's really fun to throw ideas around and you always have been bubbly in a very kind of turn. On the CEO response, I don't think it was anything more than lip service. And here's the thing, I don't do podcasts. I didn't do a podcast. That was just me chatting with people on my VC. That's what it was. I had an open VC. She would have been able to see that if she had been a part of my server. But at this point in time, on February 12th, she was already gone a long time ago. She gave me the excuse that it was because she didn't like being part of so many servers. So it's like, yeah, it's so bad. Like, wow, I never thought it would be this bad. That things were calming down and I could move on. Then Niti Sanji threw a um, nuke into this. I think there'll be cleaning house going on. Many will leave her graduate. The last actual contact I had from her, she said totally. Then, like I said, February 28th, with the tweet that she mentioned about people copying her, I asked her if I did anything wrong um, because I do have similar content. And I thought, I was like, whoa, okay, there's some interesting words. So I am the type of person that I have, um, I don't like mentioning this. I really don't like mentioning this at all, but I'm going to. Um, I have high functioning autism and that's not an excuse. That is not a crutch. That is not anything I like to, to use as a crutch. But I'm really, really bad. You can ask any friends that I have. I'm really bad with social situations. I'm really bad at social um, cues. I'm really bad at realizing when I've done things. That's why I ask these questions. Did I do something wrong? When um, someone mentioned these things, and the thing that you don't see here, by the way, is that she deleted some things. She deleted some stuff herself. 
uh, when I put something out that said, I want the community to be a warm and comforting place, not a competition. She wrote, what does, you know, who are you referring to? And then she deleted her tweet and she deleted this. Uh, but like I said, I will admit when I make mistakes and the mistakes are because I still don't, can't handle uh, interpersonal relationships very well. I can't handle relationships in general very well. Can't handle friendships very well. That's why I stay in my in my cocoon and I stay where I am. And that's why I try not to collab or anything like that. Because people uh, throw things my way that I don't know how to process properly. And like I said, that is on me. That is not on anyone else. I could handle it one way or another. That is on me. Now moving on. She made a 64 page hit piece on me. And I'm going to try to go bit by bit. And it's going to be a long one. This is definitely going to be a long one. Uh, so let's go. Introduction is from her opinion. But of course, she puts it out there because it's a hit piece. She wants to do damage, the maximum damage she can. She's a much larger VTuber than I am. Again, like I said, she's been lucky with Legal Mindset and others. She's been using that clout right now to push me down. She's using that clout right now to do damage. But like I said, when there are things in here that are true, when there are things in here that, from my perspective, are uh, can be shown by evidence one way or the other, and I'll let you guys make your decision, because I feel that there were some things in the pictures that were left out. There were some things out there that has been left out. And I will go through my catalog. I will go through her catalog. And I will go through everything that she has here, because we're going to just look at everything that she puts here. And we are going to... I'm going to go through both channels catalogs. We're just going to go through both of it. He says, straight to the point, uh, Salve VTuber, Salve Blue Squirrel has been, in my opinion, copying or imitating me for the past eight months. To such an insane degree, it cannot remain silent. You don't know how deep this goes, so I'll be detailing as much as I can in this document. It actually goes so deep, I cannot capture it all. So please bear with me. She says she feels sick. I feel like throwing up many times from anxiety and fear of being watched constantly by a person who I thought was a friend. In my opinion, he slowly morphed from being an inspired by any one of my videos to literally imitating everything I have done. I believe he now tries to get the videos up before mine, going so far as to get edits of his streams up live while still streaming to get his videos out ahead of mine. Now, this is something that I have seen her do. I'm a one-person show. I have um, only myself. I have seen her do it many times where she has videos out an hour in, after she finishes her Niji Sanji segment and goes into playing, about 20 minutes later, I have seen in the past, not in the last, maybe, probably not in the last two or three weeks, but I've seen in the past where she has had a video out about 20 or 30 minutes after her Niji Sanji segment. That's what it is. Again, this is a very much a he said, she said part because there's no proof to back it up. This is something that she sees on her end. And it's something that I've seen on mine. She has someone named Kenny4AG who is doing a lot of things for her. I'm very glad that she has that person. And um, I have nobody. I just have myself. So, yeah, sometimes you try to get ahead of things because she herself told me. It's like, look for trending topics. Look for things that are trending. Who are the people that I look at a lot of times? I'll be honest right here. Rev says Desu. Uh, Kyo. K-H-Y-O. False ID. Um, Hiro Hei, those are a lot of people that I look forward to, that a lot, I, I look for in the things that I do. I still look at them to see if there's any things that they are doing that are good and interesting topics. They have way bigger fan bases than I do. So I've tried things and I've failed, I've failed many, many times. So that's honestly, um, I really cannot fathom why someone doubles and triples down after being confronted with this issue rather than just admitting the truth and trying to do better. In my opinion, he knew since March 5th, even earlier, that I was aware of the situation and he did nothing to fix it. Again, I've already talked about this part. I've already mentioned that I tried to talk to her uh, so she can tell me. If she would have told me I'm, I'm copying her, I would have been like, okay. The fact that she went in a very roundabout way did not talk to me directly, as I showed in my previous part of the video. She did not come to me directly. She went in, a, went in a very roundabout way to do the most damage possible, to be the most vindictive possible, going on, on uh, 
on her server having people like professional gentlemen go around at different servers and badmouth me to the people in the server. It I feel disgusted by that. This I have not been, you know, throwing up or anything like that, but I've had panic attacks. I suffer from anxiety. I do. And chronic depression. I do. They're both treated, so that's not an excuse. But yes, I have anxiety as a default. So when things like this pop up, my anxiety goes to 15, and then, you know, I have to take emergency doses in order to better deal with it. Again, I'm an adult, so I deal with things, and I keep things quiet because I don't want to cause drama. But the drama came to me. It came right to my doorstep, so I have to talk about it. And it says, uh, trying to make things right, now remaining silent, as his viewers say, I copied him. The document demonstrate that is false. And here's here's one thing that I'm going to hit right on the nail on the head right now. This is what he's talk she's talking about. This part right here. This was misunderstanding on my part. 100%. I will own this. I thought that she, that he's, that this uh, mini Wurud said she is coping. And I still read it as that until I read it like right now that I read it again. She says that she is copying. She's not copying. She has her original ideas as I feel I have my original ideas. Yes, I liked it because I thought she said she is coping. She's coping with anger. She's coping with all the situation. She's coping in her own way. I didn't mean it as anything negative. I didn't see it as anything negative. And I, quite literally, didn't see it as copying. Now I see it as copying, and now I see it how that can look horrible. And I'll own this one. Yes, I like that one. Yes, I didn't proofread it. Yes, I didn't even look at, at it after I was done. I didn't look at it. I just thought it was, she said coping, but it's copying. So there you go. I made that mistake. I made that big mistake. I'll own it. I made that mistake. And I'll say right now, I never once, never once, thought that she was copying me. Never once. Because she's right to do her own things. She's right to have her own uh, community and her own uh, stuff, you know, the, the whether it have been her stuff in the past or currently. Lydia VTuber, just like myself, is riding the wave. Lydia VTuber is riding the wave of popularity that she has gotten through this... Uh, Nidhi Sanji thing. She's getting the bag just like she has before. And here's one thing. She can do what she wants. She can be the cat Garo VTuber. She can show cleavage all she wants. She can take off her shirt and show her bra all she wants. That is something that she, she is free to do. But people shouldn't throw stones in glass houses when you have things that are, that are fishy on your end. With those things, it seems manipulative on my end. To do those things when you in the past have said you hate lewd tubers you have said you hate people who use their bodies for popularity you have said yourself that you don't like people like shy lily and others because they have gotten popularity from who they know not what they do or what they know you're in the same shoes right now where you have gotten popularity based on who you know which is of course legal mindset and other people and you do a really good job, but you cannot deny that they signal boosted you and they got you to where you are, just like people signal boost Shy Lily and other people bow the whale, etc. when they first started out. This is something that happens in the VTuber community. You yourself have told me before that you don't like that part of the VTuber community. And now that you're a part of it, you go and fling stones. I will be perfectly honest and candid. I did see her as a friend. And I am sorry that the situation happened where we are no longer friends. We no longer talking. I saw her kind of like a mentor as like a, a larger VTuber who I could never reach to. And I never will um, because she's growing just like I am, but she's growing in a different way. She's someone that um, I was like, I was trying to get ideas off of. And I was also looking at videos online on YouTube, etc., to try to get ideas of what I can do and how I can do things. Spent countless hours trying to help him grow. I passed along content ideas for him and even encouraged him to keep going on what he wanted to give up. Heartbreaks that kindness was taken advantage of. I don't think that it was taken advantage of in my opinion, but she is free to feel that way. She helped me out when I was small. She invited me to her Minecraft server and things like that. Um, and I never intended for this to happen. I never intended for it to feel, for her to feel uh, followed as much as she feels that she's followed. 
uh, for her not to feel um, disliked the way that she feels that she has liked all the things that she feels that she has. Of course, she ha she's valid to feel this way. But I just want to, if you're airing out dirty, la dirty laundry, I want all the dirty laundry to be aired out. That's what I want. Um, I realize now that he saw me as competition, not a friend. This is patently untrue. I feel that we can both exist in the same space. We can both exist in the same area. I wanted to be like her, just straight out. I wanted to be uh, someone that could be uh, charismatic, someone that could be liked by others. And I'm finally seeing that community grow. I'm finally seeing that community pick me up and be like accepting of me. And she's trying to tear all that down. This is why I'm making that response. She's trying to take that community away from me. At this point, I don't care if I'm her friend. I don't care if she likes me. Just leave me alone. She should have left me alone to begin with. But she's on a vindictive, a very vindictive warpath right now. She wants me to be destroyed. She wants me to crash and burn. And this isn't a victim mentality on my part. This is just why make a Google Doc unless you want someone to burn. Why make a Google Doc unless you want to isolate them. You're not wishing the best for me by doing this. You're not wishing the best for my community while doing this. You're actively weaponizing your community to do this to me. That's clear cut as, a, as the light of day. You're weaponizing yourself, your reach, your community to blame me and to make me the enemy number one, the persona non grata in the VTuber community. I take a special, a very special uh, dislike of using the word stalking because I don't stalk you. I don't. I don't follow you. I don't follow you on any social media. Uh, the I have, we're going to reach the part where she claims that I'm stalking her. And then I'm going to give my answer at that part. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Someone phrase is so much better than me. There's a difference between inspiration and imitation. So stop imitating me. I have my own thing that I do. I have my own intros that I do. I have my own content that I do. At this point, I'm not imitating you. I have found my own grind. I have found my own way of doing things. I have found, uh, I have the blue surround. Uh, I use the blue surround on all my videos before I use the red surround on yours. I also uh, use different uh, wording than you do. I use different, I try to use different visuals, but when you're using it on Eiji Sanji, what other visuals are you going to have? I'm talking about Luka Kaneshiro. How many freaking different uh Images of Luka Kaneshiro are there? How many different images of someone else can you find? You know, all this stuff. <clears throat> but in order to prove this without a shadow of a doubt, please be patient and read everything. Here's the context below. I'm, I'm viewing this on PC, so it's going to be better for you guys. His defense, so he's already been called out on Twitter. Some people easily put it together, just be mentioning I was being copied. A better phrase than copying would be imitation, but it gets across the same point. I made this tweet after the latest ambush of my, of my content, which I will explain. Let's see what the way that she explains it, and then I will give my side. And I was fed up with months and months of Salvi imitating me. It's not just one thing, I want everyone to understand. It's not a single issue, it's talking about news. No one owns the subject. Months and months. And she's talking about my previous channel, which we'll get to. In time, as everything goes there, we'll get to in time. I've included the tweet I made so you have context. This is a tweet she made on, on the, uh, it wasn't on March 27th. This was actually on February 27th, I believe. Because March 27th was just a couple days ago. This was not on March 27th that she made this. This was on February 28th, but she, I guess she remade it at some point. Um, oh, no, this is another one she made. Uh, rescheduled my uploads to be away from him. Now I was copying it too. Holy S. I have uploads of two, two times a day. I'm not copying the upload schedule. Also, on YouTube, you will see when your uh, community is more active. And I test certain times. I test it at 4 in the morning, I believe. I test it at 10 p.m. I test at 2 p.m. I, st I stream on my own schedule. And I put content on my own schedule. From the point of my past channel, I can see 
seeing what happened back then, how this can possibly be seen by her at this point as copying and imitating. So I give her that point that she could see it that way. I don't see it that way. But of course, like I said, she's giving you information. I want to give you information on my side to try to help you guys with this whole situation. The next tweet I have here is him playing the victim after being called up as imitation of my work. His offense seems to be like completely it's, it's new, so duh. Right now, for the news one, yes, it's going to happen that way. Because that's all I thought it was. Honestly, truly, I didn't think about my old channel. I'll tell you that right now. I didn't think about my old channel. I didn't think about the stuff that I did before. I didn't think about that at all. Um, and of course, like I said, she's trying to take down my new channel by mentioning the old channel, which is going to get people to report me. It's going to get, like I said, she is weaponizing her community against me, vindictively weaponizing her community against me. But she didn't even accuse me of copying it of the only thing I could have thought of, truly, in my mind, the only thing that popped up. I have no script for this, but the only thing that popped up in my mind was this, the, the news part. That's the only thing I thought of. I didn't think of the stuff in the past. Why? Because even if we made the same content in the past, mine would get two views. Hers would get 300, 500, 700, 800 views. Mine would get two views because I was in eternal two view. I still pretty much am. I don't see myself as anyone big. I don't see myself as anyone important. I'm an eternal two view that she wants to make disappear. She wants me to disappear from the VTuber community. She wants to crush me under her foot like an ant. She wants to do this. At least that's the way I see it. And like I said, that was my bad. I could only think of that situation because I truly could not think of anything else. Now I know it goes deeper and I will show all the evidence that I have. So you guys can make your informed decision, not a cherry picked decision, not cherry picked based on the actual thing, like the things that she puts there to make it seem that way, but an actual decision of yours just based on everything that you guys have here. That is not actually the issue and demonstrates complete lack of understanding of the problem. Again, like I mentioned, that deep lack of understanding comes from just the way my brain works. That's why I asked for clarification from her, as you saw in my previous part of this video. I asked for clarification because I was dumbfounded. I was quite literally, I'm stupid in that case. I am the stupidest, densest person you know. Ask people around me. I'm a dense motherfucker. And I'll say it again. I am a dense motherfucker. That's not an excuse, but that is just giving you my side right now. That doesn't excuse the fact that I made this mistake here, but that gives you a little bit of insight as to why I made that mistake. I just thought it was recent stuff. I didn't think she was holding this, this vindictiveness, this hatred for me since months ago. I had no clue that she was holding this hatred for me since months ago. It seems to me, again, this is my interpretation. I could be 100% wrong. And I admit that I am reacting to this in the moment because I wanted all of my emotions and all my feelings to be out here because this is a big thing for any of you two. Um, I would argue it's willful, willfully ignorant, which it's not, as I just mentioned, it's not willful ignorance, it's just my stupidity. Don't attribute to malice what can you easily explain through stupidity. That is a quote, I believe, I'm probably paraphrasing it, but pretty much that's the way I, I treat life. Don't attribute to malice what is can be attributed to stupidity. I'm attributing this right now to malice because she's not dumb, and I know she's not dumb. The large amount of imitation he has done in the course of eight months across two YouTube channels. Like I said, I didn't consider the stuff in the past. I considered the stuff that was right in front of me. We're going to get to the YouTube channel because I'm not going to hide anything. You guys, I mean, right now, why would I? I'll let you guys fully decide. One of which was blocked by Google AdSense for suspicious activity, allegedly. Again, this is alleged. Um, this is stuff she got from sources, etc. I will not provide the evidence. I have gathered my opinion. He not imitated my content on numerous occasions, but that he is willfully letting people believe he did not imitate my work. Why he won't just admit that he did and instead triples down beyond my comprehension? Because I just thought it had to do with the news. I thought it just had to do with the news. I didn't know it had to do with stuff in the past. I myself has I've already said that I saw her as someone to aspire to. I saw that she made certain videos and I was like, ooh, that's an interesting topic for me to make. I'm going to uh, go and, you know, do it myself. And I'm not a graphic designer. I 
look at things, I'm like, ooh, this looks nice. I'm going to take aspects of it and I'm going to try to make it my own. That's what I do. And now I understand that a lot of people see that as copying. I understand now that a lot of people see that as bad things. I never did it with the intent of any kind of harm. I never did it with the intent of making her feel bad or making her feel like I'm trying to steal her thunder or anything like that. If you see that I'm pausing or that there are a lot of cuts, it's just that there are parts where I am, because of my anxiety, like I mentioned before, I have had to take breaks. I have had to, you know, just recompose myself because this is, like I said, hitting at my integrity uh, and making some very, very damning things. Like there are some things in here that can be defamatory. It can be considered defamation in many cases. I feel they could be considered defamation, but I ain't rich, so I can't really do anything. The court of public opinion is going to make their decision, and I can just say my side. You see, um, the most recent incident, I'm left with no choice but to lay this out to protect myself. He's currently allowing his community to believe I'm copying him in his in her opinion. Again, I never, ever, ever will weaponize my community, unlike what I feel she has done here. And unlike what I feel she has done with professional gentlemen and other people who have attacked me all over Twitter and all over uh, Discord. I have had to put my Discord into safe mode because of people like her and people like the professional gentlemen who are weaponizing every single way that they can in order to damage me. And I, in order to protect my community, I have had to put my Discord into safe mode. We have had to get bots in there to protect the people inside and to make sure we are not getting raided because we had had attempts to be raided a couple of times in the past, recently. So, my perspective is he will continue to imitate my work and accelerate his uploads to time frame to, himself, to frame himself as a victim. I'm not a victim. Just like I don't think she's a victim. But again, you guys can make your own decisions on that. I'm not a victim of anybody. I am my own person. If the only thing I'm actually a victim of, let me correct that. The only thing I'm actually a victim of is my own stupidity for thinking I could trust people, for thinking I could try to make a mark in this community. I'm an idiot. So the only thing I am a victim of is my own stupidity. Um, my desire is he distances his content from mine at the bare minimum, make his videos and thumbnails distinct. I do make my videos and thumbnails distinct. I have an intro, I have my main stuff, and then I have an outro every single time. My outro is distinct. My intro is distinct. I do that. I don't have anything else that is similar to hers. At least I don't think so. We'll go through there and I'll explain the things that I did. Um... It says, videos and thumbnails distinct. I have zero expectation he will acknowledge his wrongdoings or actually do the right thing because this would require self-reflection. I'm not someone against self-reflection. We'll take a look. And then you guys tell me if I'm in denial, etc. Like I have said that I did see her as a mentor and that I did see her do things and I wanted to do them as well. He says, since defense is, it's the new, so it does. So I want to keep that in mind going forward. That's just about the stuff from Niji Sanji. Stuff before... I'll treat it as something absolutely different because it is. It's distinct. So this is just about the Nidhi Sanji news. Let's quickly tweet the tweet that he made. He said it's evil and disgusting for me to calling out months upon months of him imitating what I do. Willfully ignorant and about the situation. And like I mentioned before, we're coming to this part. I misread this. I will fully own up to this. I misread it. I thought that she was coping with how angry she is. She's coping with the situation. I just thought it was just like it's coke. You know how you can say it's coke. I may have misread that, and I did misread that until this document when it was popped up in front of me. I don't pay attention to tweets very much, and that's my fault. That is a bad part that I have. I'm bad at reading. I have had that message told to me many times. I slur my words sometimes. I misconstrue uh, things that were popping out. I misconstrue a lot of different things. And... That is my fault. I misconstrue things. I misread things. I'm not dyslexic, but I misread this one. So I will own up to this one. I misread it and liked it. She's not copying. I'll just put that out there. I never once thought she was copying me. I never once thought my community was uh, would be considering that she's copying me. 
I've never once even heard it from my community that she's copying me other than this person, Mini Wurud, that I'm seeing now. Yes, I saw the tweet. Yes, I liked the tweet. I thought it was coping. So that was my bad. First fault that I'll admit. I'm stupid. And yeah, uh, doesn't excuse everything. So we're just going to go in bit by bit. And it's going to be a long one because I'm barely at page seven. My main platform is Twitch, but I started my YouTube channel after watching many videos advising in order to grow on Twitch, you need to grow your platform and make content. Now, Twitch was never something super duper duper important, but I, my schedule was always Monday, Wednesday, Friday in the mornings from 10 a.m. to around uh, 1 p.m. Uh, Pacific Daylight Time. I always did, um, I did Roblox one day, and then I did other games and other things other days. I started doing just chatting because... I was reading and I was uh, watching videos where they say people want to know your personality. People want to know you. People want to know the person behind the mask, the person behind the VTuber, and the person behind everything. So start talking, start doing just chatting. And I, you know, I'm not, I'm going to admit, I saw Asma Gold and others who do a lot of just chatting and they're popular. I was like, hey, you know, maybe if I let people know how I am, who I am, maybe I'll start getting some popularity too. Who knows? I, I didn't. I absolutely didn't, and that's fine. First, I had no idea what that meant, so I started YouTube by just experimenting and posting different types of content. At the same time, Salvi was already on YouTube, but mostly just restreaming his Twitch, which I did. Um, Twitch was not okay with it, but they are okay with it now. I was small, so they never caught me. They never saw it. They never did anything. Even if they did, it was just like, okay, once, I, once I'm told I, I can't do that, I was never told to stop it, so I didn't stop it. Because I treated... YouTube kind of like a Twitch VOD repository. And um, because like I said, I was an eternal two view. I was one or two people. My channel started growing immediately to notice. This is a mischaracterization because of the fact that um, this paints me in a very uh, malevolent light. This makes me look like the bad guy. She's intentionally trying to make me look like the bad guy. But let's see what goes on here says, I want your opinion, which is something that I did. I did want her opinion. She's a bigger VTuber. I get opinion from other bigger VTubers. I'm not really uh, successful, but thanks. Um, she was successful, and she still is successful. Like I said, because she's been uh, signal boosted, whether she accepts it or not, it's signal boosting like that that gets you successful. That's how you make it in the world. She got signal boosted, and I'm, I'm proud of her for getting signal boosted. She doesn't care. That probably makes her sick. But, you know, she did well. I hold nothing against her on that Doing an amazing job, really are. I wasn't trying to fluff her up. She was doing an amazing job. She had consistent, I think, back before she was signal boosted, 20 or 30, sometimes, you know, a little bit more on her Twitch side. She never really streamed on YouTube, which she just did videos. So yeah, she was 20 or 30. I think when I first met her, I think she had 3,000. No, not 3,000. She had maybe like 1,500 uh, Twitch followers. And I was at zero. And I was like at 100 maximum and that kind of stuff. You're welcome. Of course, with everything she's saying before, she's saying this to see to say like I'm a gaslighter, I'm an I'm a manipulator. This is just quite literally a starry-eyed uh, idiot <laughs> looking at someone who's bigger than them and seeing if I can learn some things from them. Just truly, a uh, starry-eyed moron looking and wanting someone to be their mentor uh, and impart advice. I quite literally wanted advice at this point. This is. Uh, we had been contacting each other way before, way before this. Like we had been in contact with each other since 2020. So this isn't just me. This is a bad portrayal. This isn't just me being there and being like, oh, you're big. So now I'm going to talk to you. We've been talking since 2020 about different things, about our struggles. Like I said, about her not liking that Shy Lily and all that kind of stuff was getting signal boosted and she was not getting anything. And um, one thing that I find interesting, one thing that I find very interesting was she changed her style. Back in 2020, she did not have, you know, she's talking about people being manipulative and such. She did not have the big boobs she has now. She did not have the Gyaru tan that she has now. She did not have the cleavage that she has now. If you look in her YouTube side, years ago and if you if twitch vods were able to be up for years ago she did have the 
kind of cat with glasses and a kind of a cat glasses teacher look. She didn't have any kind of, if you even look in her, look at her Twitter, she has me blocked, so I can't see it. Look at her Twitter and you'll see how things have changed. You'll see exactly how things have changed. She didn't have huge boobs. She didn't have huge cleavage. She didn't have the Gyaru Tan. She didn't have the pretty much nakedness that she has as, I don't know if it is a Twitch reward. I don't know if it's a reward for uh, someone giving them bits or if it's something that she just does because she wants to. But there's a part where she'll take off her the shirt that she has and she has the, the uh, leopard print bra. She has her leopard print bra on, which, you know, because of jiggle physics, jiggle physics are jiggle physics. It's not a swimsuit. It's a bra. You look on her, on her Twitter, and she also has a post where she says, I don't have references, but here is my VTuber, where she sews it in a bra, and she sews panties that are, let's just say they're very low on the crotch. So, you know, people do what they got to do to get, you know, through the world. She's not the only one who does it. She's not the only one who does the whole uh, lewd look or anything like that, or trying to get the, the, the gaze or anything like that. She's not the only one who does it. And personality will push you through, which it has for her. But I'm saying it's kind of hypocritical for uh, her to say that I'm manipulative or try to say that I'm manipulative. And then she goes and changes things to kind of, you know, maybe draw a little bit more attention. That's just my opinion, though. We are going to get to the reaction videos part, but of course, let's, let's go bit by bit. At this point, I already knew he was uploading the same reaction videos I was doing, but didn't think much of it other than he saw my videos were marginally successful. I want to stress marginally. Yeah, back then. And both of us didn't have any success. So he must think uploading the same stuff will work for him. Seriously thought this guy was my friend. So I tried to give him advice on improving thumbnails. I mentioned emulating what others do. Like I mentioned, I went into YouTube trending tabs. I went into YouTube trending. The, um, the Final Fantasy stuff is trending. Nintendo stuff ends up trending. I went to those and uh, put them out there. Because, of course, I'm not going to get the same stuff as she does. I'm not going to get that. And yes... Also, not everything was YouTube trending. Some of the things were some things that she saw I found interesting. And I was like, hey, I want my take on this. And I did it. Unoriginal. You can call it copying. You can call it what you will. I can see how that can be considered copying. I honestly didn't think anything of it. I didn't think it was anything bad at that point. I didn't think I was straight copying. I didn't think I was doing 100% imitation. I didn't think any of that. And that was my fault. That is another bad that I did. I did not consider someone else's feelings on the whole situation, did not consider someone else's whole thing. I had been told by my doctor that it is because of the autism. But again, when you have these type of situations, you should be able to Create methods of making sure you don't make the same mistake again. Obviously, my methods of doing it, my methods of making sure I don't make the same mistake again, that I try to pay attention to people and the way that um, they, they think and act and feel, those weren't enough. I can tell that now. Those weren't enough. And I'll take, I'll take full responsibility for that part. I messed up there. I didn't uh, make sure to check with her if it was okay, if she thought it was too close. Uh, because, like I said, it never entered my mind that it would be too close because she was more successful than me. She was bigger than me. And it honestly felt like she saw me as an aunt. It honestly felt like, thinking back on it, it felt like, eh, he can copy me all he wants. I'm getting more popularity anyways. I'm getting more in my videos anyways. He can copy me and he can do exactly what he wants whenever he wants however he wants, he's not going to reach my point. And that's why I didn't consider how she would feel. That was a bad on my part. But like I said, I didn't consider how she would feel because, yeah, I felt like an end. Yeah, I felt like I wasn't going to reach anything that she was. So I was like, we can talk about the same things. I'm interested in it. I, I've been a fan of certain things that she's going to mention, like Initial D she's going to mention. I've been a fan of Initial D since it first came out. And I was like, whoa, people actually make videos about the races, the races that I love, I'm going to do that too. Not because of fame or anything, but because I just wanted to do that kind of stuff. 
I wanted to make videos, like I've always been told, make videos about what you're passionate about. I didn't think people would actually watch videos about anime or watch videos about the initial D races. And yes, they're there. And then another another one that she did, which was Assetto Corsa. I didn't know that Assetto Corsa even had the initial D stuff, so I did it. I was like, oh, that's cool. Let me do that too. I saw it more as like a little kid following like a bigger sister or whatever. Might make her sick to even hear about that. But I, I saw it as like a little kid following a bigger sister because I didn't know my way in the world. I didn't know what I was going to do with my channel. I had no clue. So I was like, oh, React content seems pretty fun. And I asked her about React stuff. And I asked her what I should do with my React information, React stuff. And I was like, I even sent her thumbnails and stuff like that, I believe, or at least I mentioned about her thumbnails. And I asked her, what do you think about these thumbnails? She was like, make it more visible, make it something that people can see. And I was like, oh, yellow's pretty visible. Like when she uses yellow, I can see it. So I just did my simple yellow. I was like, okay, cool. Uh, I always saw it as imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, but obviously she didn't. She felt it was disgusting. She felt it was like stalking. And um, she has the right to feel that way. I didn't mean it that way. But of course, she has the right to feel that that was a form of stalking. That was a form of nastiness. And um, that is what it is. It says, however, in my opinion, the imitation intensified right around the time he contacted me for advice when I passed him in subs. In my opinion, everything he did slowly morphed into imitating what I was doing, including thumbnail style, subject matter, everything. And of course, she has her proof down here. And in the time frame uh, where he contacted me for advice is the time frame where I passed him in subscribers on YouTube. And then she's saying, you know, that I have manipulated it in some way. I had no idea what was going on on YouTube, and I was uploading content at random, and I personally enjoyed. Didn't understand the nuance of YouTube. I still don't understand the nuance of YouTube. Like, once this Nidhi Sandy stuff goes away, and I'm going to keep doing news tubing. News tubing. I'm going to keep doing news. I'm going to keep watching these things. I'm going to keep doing that. Uh, but I still have no clue about the nuance of YouTube, because they change it every single time. Uh, an algorithm, yet somehow, randomly, he was uploading videos of the same subject matter on the same day. Like I said, I was inspired by things that she had. I was like, ooh, that's an interesting topic. Like ones with completionists and other ones. That was an interesting topic. I want my say in it. And mine never did well. And that's fine. That's the nuance of YouTube. That's fine. I was happy just doing my stuff. And I was happy taking a look at things that she looked at. I, I'll be honest with you, 100% here. 100%. I don't watch her videos. Even back then. I didn't watch her videos. All I saw, the only thing I saw from her videos, and this is my fault, was what she did, and that was it. What it was on, the completionist. What did I do? I went to Smash JT, looked at the things that they were doing, that's another YouTube channel, and saw that, and tried to find videos on it, tried to find other people putting stuff on it, tried to find um, little things here and there that I can use to make mine distinct. And I think I made mine distinct enough in the content itself. Uh, you can argue, and I will give you credence if you say, yeah, the thumbnails are way too similar. Yeah, even the titles can be similar. I can understand that, but the content was my own, 100%. Uh, because I didn't watch her videos, I didn't want to have it taint my perspective on things. I didn't want to have it taint my uh Everything, you know, the things that I was doing in my content. I didn't want it to take my content. He says, let's all remember, it's completely normal for people to react to the same video on the same day when it's topical. My main point to illustrate the imitation went across many genres and are completely disconnected from one another. Again, I was trying to find my niche. I was looking at different things and I was trying to find a niche. That was my mistake. My mistake was getting too close to the sun, having my wings of wax uh, get burned. That was my mistake. I'll admit that. That was my mistake on this whole thing. Why was it my mistake? Because in my liking what she did, in my liking the, t the type of topics that she did, I hurt her, and I do apologize for that. My intent was not to hurt her. My intent was not to steal her content. My intent was not to um, do any harm to anybody. Uh Let's see, now that VTuber news is the main thing I do, it's not the main thing he does. Yes, because it gets views. I did it around the same time because the Selen thing happened. A Selen thing happened and I tried it because I was like, hey, that's good. That's the, that's the recent news. And I'm going to, you know, everything is blowing up. 
everybody was doing it. Like I said, Hiro Hei did it. Um, then you had Rev, Rev Says Desu did it. Of course, uh, False ID is doing it. Everybody's doing it. So here, it seems that she thinks that I did it specifically because of her. Now, VTuber News is the main thing I do. It's the main thing he does. This isn't document saying he can't do VTuber News. Explain the intense level of imitation and intimidation. How the hell is this intimidation? I don't know what kind of things she's going to pull from her rear, but let's take a look. One last note is during the earlier period of my YouTube journey, I usually just streamed my reactions live the day before and scheduled it for the next morning in my time zone. I didn't feel the urgency to rush things out. It would be very easy for someone to just watch my VODs and know what reaction videos would be for the next day. Like I said, this is with the assumption I watch her streams. I don't watch her streams. It is with the assumption that I watch what she does. I don't. I hardly ever watch her content. I hardly ever do. We have the same things popping out because guess what? Niji Sanji, our Niji Sanji has the same things popping out. Hiro Hei or Rev Says Desu would have the same things popping out. Uh, our Kuro Sanji has the same things popping out. In fact, there are times, for example, these last, there was a day, time when she would, went to Ottawa Con or something like that. She wasn't streaming. She wasn't doing anything. If I was directly copying her, as she says here, that basically I was copying everything on the next day, copying everything, looking at her VODs. This is the accusation she's throwing at me, that I'm looking at her VODs. She didn't have VODs for about five days. How can I be copying her? If you see, you look at my videos, I have videos in those five days, sometimes two videos per day. How can I be copying her and copying her VODs if she had no VODs? It would make sense that if she had no VODs and I was trying to copy her VODs, I would have no content during that time. I had content during those days. I had content before she had things during those days, like the Slentotsky thing. Um, not Slentotsky, the, the Slentotsky extortion one. I had that before she had hers up. So this is all under the assumption that I watch her VODs. This is, like I said, this is going to be a long one. After reviewing everything to make this document, I have a hunch it was actually what was happening. At least sometimes, judge for yourself, this is opinion. It's wrong. I'll tell you right now, it's wrong. I don't watch your VODs. I don't. There's something you need to understand about YouTube. Growth comes from doing the same type of content daily. So, I was just randomly doing stuff in many genres. And you somehow landed the same genre as me most every time. So like I said, this is about the old channel. And we're going to get to the old channel because I'm going to take a look at everything that I've done. And this is cherry-picked, of course, because these are the things that she says I was imitating her on. It's cherry-picked. And it is uh, cherry-picked to make me look in the worst possible way. Like, I got different photos. I got different things. Like, Persona 3, of course, it's going to be normal. The man who raised his name. Hideo Kazuma. And the whole Yakuza. Yakuza 0, Yakuza everything. I've been a fan for a while because Kiryu Koko was a fan of Kazuma. Now, Final Fantasy. That was just because it was a trending topic. I got it from different places that she did. I, like I said, I put my own React things here. I put my own VTuber Reacts part. I try to make it distinct enough so that she wouldn't feel like I'm copying her. Uh, this part, because, heck, that's the one I found online. It was similar enough to hers. I was like, fuck, how can I do this to make it different? I couldn't fi figure out a way. And my stuff is different from hers. But on that one, yeah, you can see that it, it's similar. Again, the Tifa thing, I was like, oh, you know, this is interesting. So... I didn't know that they had, like, the Tifa thing here. I didn't know that they had the three dresses for her. I was like, I know Aerith, and I know Tifa. So these are cool. I took a look at it. I was like, yeah, I'm going to react to it. This is kind of cool. Like, I, look, I looked at the actual things that were out there, out there. I Like I said, I didn't actually look at her video. What I did is I looked at the fact that her video is there. I was like, oh, three Tifa dresses. Let me see. And then I looked at it. Like I said... I was like a young boy uh, trying to uh, make my own way. And yes, these are one of the more likely to be seen as copying by a lot of people. I understand that. Um, there were subjects, like I said, subjects that she did that I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Let me figure out if I can make a, a video myself and make my own opinion on this. I didn't know if my opinion would combine with her or not. And um, like also, like I said, Look at the way that her VTuber models change, and it is in such a way that it brings attention. 
um, the Mankind Hell in the Cell thing, uh, it was wrestling. This is not the same video. She says right there, it's not the same video. Again, I didn't copy her thumbnail here. I made it on the same stuff. I didn't copy her thumbnail. That was, yes, the thumbnail was something that was pretty much a direct copy. Right there, yeah. Because I couldn't find any other uh, things that I could put here. And I'll put that as uncreative on my part. I'll accept that it's uncreative on my part. I'll accept that I don't have creativity. I'll accept that uh, on my, many of these things, I don't have creativity. But on other things, like you can see, I try to make it different. On some things like this, this, and this. And, uh, well, this one's different. But this one here, yeah, I don't have creativity. I lack creativity in a lot of things. Again, he says here, it's not the same video, but on the same topic. So she is, she is saying herself, it's not the same video, but she still sees it as copying. The Project F, the MF Ghost, this is what pisses me off. This right here pisses me off. Because she's seeing this as a direct copy. And this is what pisses me off. And I'll show you why. Give me a second. I'll show you exactly why I see this as, as pissing me off. The one she uses is this one from October 13th, 2023. Look at all of the MF Ghost videos that I made. I made an MF Ghost for freaking every single episode. This isn't copying. I made it from every single freaking episode. I made a shorter one for when Keisuke was there. I made it... I was talking about MF Ghost because I am a fan of Initial D. So I was talking about MF Ghost. Is she saying that just because we touched on the same subject, that is direct copying? What kind of effing... It, ah. This is malicious. Right here, this is specifically malicious. Yes, I'll agree. There's some parts where I'm not creative in my, in my thumbnail creation. And I'll, I'll admit that. I'm not creative in my thumbnail admission. This here, MF Ghost. I did it myself. I made all of these myself. Is she saying just because one video or two videos of her are MF Ghost that I'm all of a sudden copying her for doing MF Ghost? I did the official trailer. I did I did uh, episode 7, episode 4, episode 9. All of these. So that is BS right there. And I have proof. Just look at my channel. Again, Mad Salvi, the channel she's talking about, the channel she has most issues with. Here we go. And let's just take a look. Let's just look at my videos. I had the, the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth one. I had Initial D Tokyo Pop. I had other things like here. This one was because someone was mentioning that Tokyo Pop was ruining things. You know, Haunted Bloodlines. I did other ones. That the Yes, I did do the, the Initial D Drifting videos. But you can see, I had Skibidi Toilet that was added to there. I had Star Wars. And this is way, way, way before two months ago, three months ago. This is all different things. I did the thing with Steamboat Willie. Yes, there were a couple here and there. There were absolutely a couple here and there that were similar to hers. But you can tell here, I tried to differentiate. She didn't do the story of E86. She didn't do the, she maybe did the Salantatsuki thing. She didn't do the Fuomoko homage to Asakoko. I, she didn't do the, I did the 12 Days of Nutmiss. All these things here, going to supposedly me having no creativity and me just imitating every single thing she does. Imitating absolutely every single thing she does is what she's saying. Maliciously, might I add. Look at all this stuff. Yes, there's some things like this one. The metas. There's something about Dream. I did the GTA 6 trailer. I did Boogie, which was very big. I did uh, Completionist, which is very big. I did my own trailers on all of these. I did uh, things with no more Twitch nudes. I did, you know, on trending topics. I did my own my own things. I did Twitch meta, got it permanently banned. And I showed a uh, false IDs video on that one. Grandizer, uh, Isabel is always ruins everything. Again, like I said, these parts, a lot of these parts were me looking at trending topics. And then of course, you know, some of the things that, that I was interested in that showed right here, like you're seeing the MF ghost, you're seeing the, um, 
issues here. Of course, she's highlighting the parts where she thinks that I'm copying her. You see Ultimate How to Train Your Dragon. You see the Aerith thing, the theme song. I did the theme song. I did the Flute Man because the Flute Man's funny. Yes, there were some things that were similar. This uh, thumbnail was similar. But as you can see, I tried making them different enough where it wasn't like every single time I was copying her, every single time she could be seen as copying her, can be seen as, you know, oh, I was copying everything. Oh my God, this guy, like, he's stalking me. I'm copying stuff. No, I did my own creative stuff. I did my own stuff where I could. The Rito Ron, uh, the Walter White, again, going as far as four months back, on the KSK thing, on the Mario remake thing, on uh, Ned Luke from GTA 5 got swatted, on the FNAF Help Wanted PSVR 2. Yes, it's I show speed, swatted, and arrested. All these things. As you can see, I didn't do them immediately after she did them. I did them around the time. Yes, there were some around the time. But I had my own creative endeavors that I was trying to do. I'm just showing you absolutely everything to give you a full, full rundown of everything here. Persona 3 Reload. Like, I can't do Persona 3 Reload? I will admit... Some things were a little too close to the mark, and I will accept that. Some things were too close. That was my mistake. That was my failing as a person. That was my failing as a VTuber, as a content creator. That was my failing. I have made an endeavor and made a hard attempt to change and to make it better. It's like I said four months ago. I did Last Gibbity Toilet. I did Ebenezer, The Invisible World React. A lot of these things got copyright struck. I did a lot of this stuff. So yeah, some of those things were similar, but I did a ton of other things there that she didn't put out here. So that's just giving you an idea. Again, I'm not hiding anything. The charity. This was big. This was huge. This was huge. Um, and yeah, this is, this is my mistake. I will admit, this is my mistake. Uh, I made that mistake and... When I saw I was like, yeah, no, this is probably too close. You'll see next. I, I put it different. I put it different. BS, attempt to silence criticism. She can't say that I didn't try to create something there. I saw, you know what? This might be too close, but whatever. It's already too late. I already created it. It is what it is, you know? Uh, Boogie 10 and 8 is depressing. He didn't copy. Shocking. What happens the next time I speak about Boogie? Again, victim mentality. And again, a lot of people have already believed the victim mentality, and that's fine. There you go. Um, I played Super Mario RPG. I didn't just play it once. I streamed Super Mario RPG. Let's go back to when Super Mario RPG was a thing. Let's go back to my live streams. Let's see, Super Mario RPG. Um, I did the amazing stuff. I did other things here. This Mario RPG is teasing me. We're going, when was that? When was that specifically? Let's take a look because we're looking as we're going four months ago. Let's go to my live streams on this channel specifically four months ago. And um, I did Super Mario RPG going deep inside Mario's tunnels. Um, I did uh, a full on stream of Mario RPG, Super Mario RPG. I did more of this. I finished Super Mario RPG. I finished it. So how can she say I'm copying her when she never, ever played Super Mario RPG? I was recommended Super Mario RPG with other people, by other people. So yeah, and yes, I used it on Yuzu Emulator. I bought the copy of Super Mario, and I used it as Yuzu Emulator. That is allowed in the United States. You can use a Yuzu Emulator on backups that you have. I have a method of buying the game and doing a backup of it. So that is fully legal. It's a gray market type of thing. But it's fully legal. Some people think it's not moral or ethical, but it's fully legal over here in the United States. I can't get in trouble for that. Dragon Ball Z one, uh, Mega 64. I knew about Mega 64 a long time ago, and she's saying it's mega niche. So again, you believe her if you want. That's fine. Scott Pilgrim, this one, I wanted to do the full thing. But guess what happened when I tried to do the full thing? It got copyright struck and it got removed. It actually got uh, fully removed, so I could only do a certain part of it. So that's something thing. The Rio Ron was big. She got fired. And again, like I said, she, I didn't want to seem like I was copying her, so I did this here. Fired. I did something different. 
I was, you know, the drama, he donated the money, now audits. Um, this was a big thing that happened. It actually happened. Yeah, I saw that everyone was talking about it. I saw that Smash JT was talking about it. He's a big one that talks about um, the other people. But remember, at this point in time, she already has a victim complex. At this point in time, she already feels that I'm copying her. So anything that I do that is near to what she does will be seen through this lens. She already sees it as me copying her. So anything is already going to be seen through a distorted lens of it being, you know, copying. So again, she says next day, the flute guy, the Reddit meltdown. Again, these are big topics. In fact, people were doing memes about the flute guy. The flute guy was being memed up at this time. Uh, this one was an interesting thing because I'm a more, mainly a DC and I, I grew up with Dragon Ball, the original Dragon Ball, not Dragon Ball G. I mean, Z or uh, GT or any of the newer ones. I grew up with Dragon Ball Z. And Dragon Ball. So she's saying basically the times when everything was posted, that it seemed sus, and it's just content, you know, the regular content. And like I said, back then, it was December 4th of last December 14th of last year. A lot of this like stuff looks damning, but um, and I can see from the lens that she has that yes, this looks very bad. But I don't know. On my opinion, I'm just being honest with you. Like I said. At, at worst, it is me seeing her as someone that I can look up to. Someone that, oh, she's bringing out new things that I didn't know about. Let me look it up myself and make my own decisions on this. Because all I see is that she does this about Morg Pie and, um, and the, the Twitch update. And I did it myself. I did one myself. Like I said, I also watched Rev Says Desu, who did the same thing around those days. I also watched Hiro Hei, who did the same thing around those days. Um, it's inspiration in this case, direct inspiration of content. I was like, I couldn't think of content to create. So I saw that this was big and it was trending. So yeah, I did it the next day. I didn't catch on to it the exact same day. So I did it the next day. If I was directly copying her, it would be an hour after she did it. It would be like right when she did it. So yeah, I saw it. I looked up the other videos. I saw everyone's take and then I had my own. The full call released, same thing. Difference is, here's the difference that I did. I went through the trouble of making uh, full on uh, subtitles for the whole thing. And the full call released was a big thing. It took a while for me to do it, especially since I did painstaking subtitles for the whole damn thing. The whole damn call I did subtitles for. So that took a while. That isn't going to be done in five minutes. So it took a while. This was also something huge in the sphere of completionists. So this is not a copy. The Selen last cup of coffee thing. That was huge. Everyone covered it. False ID covered it. Other people covered it. Of course, I'm going to shift to news. I'm going to be honest with you. Why did I shift to news? Because it is the big thing right now. Why did she shift to news? For the exact same reason. She can't lie and say that she didn't shift to news because it got her pop popularity. It boosted her channel. Her channel went from like 1,500 viewers to some to 1,500 uh, subscribers to 12.4K that she is now because of Nidhi Sanji News. Everyone is growing with Nidhi Sanji News. Everyone is. So she can't say that I got that idea from her. I got it because once I did the Selen last cup of coffee thing, I saw that more people were going to be watching my stuff. And they still are watching my stuff. This is where the second channel comes in. He started a second channel after his channel had assets blocked. Um, this is not true. This is patently false. This is patently false. This is patently false. The situation with the monetization back in the day was in 2016. It wasn't due to 2023. Since she has no clue about what happened, she's not the person who had to deal with it. She doesn't know. The issue with monetization was in 2016, way back in the day, before I even met her, before I decided to do VTubing. I was, back in the day, a small v a small YouTuber who was just doing regular stuff. And um, back then, you couldn't uh, you couldn't really appeal as a small VTuber, YouTuber, which I had like maybe two or 300 people. You couldn't, uh, when YouTube says reuse content, you couldn't uh, appeal it. And then they just made their decision. They don't ban you, but you can't monetize if you ever get the chance to. 2016 
is when it happened. I remember it like yesterday. 2016 was when it happened. First supposed reuse content because I was doing gameplay. I was doing gameplay in 2016. It's all on my channel. You can take a look at it. That's when it happened. I didn't care at that point because I was not, not anywhere near big enough to be monetized. So I didn't care at that point. You went to get proof of the discussion I had with him about this Google AdSense account being blocked. However, he deleted all his comments. Um, this is, well, this is one thing that I knew she was going to do. Why? Because of course she will. She's vindictive right now. She wants to damage me. I deleted a lot more than that, believe me. I removed a lot more than that because I'm like, look, anything that can happen. She mentions this with no proof. She mentions this just because there are skippy, skippity skips. But she has no proof about it being an AdSense related thing. She has no proof of that. That's something that you guys can decide. But like I said, the AdSense thing was in 2016. Now it's 2023, 2024. Rules have changed. And I was able to apply and get it again. So that's fine. It happens. I was able to apply and get it again. Um, so I'm not breaking any rules or anything. I got AdSense. I was given AdSense again. Um, I don't monetize anything on my second channel because, well, everything's copyright struck. Everything's copyright struck. But yeah, this is um, vindictive and I knew she was going to be doing this. I knew she was going to be doing this. So, of course, it looks bad. It looks very bad. But I'll be honest, during that time, I was like, I know she's going to be doing a Google Doc. I know that she's going to be trying to get as much information as she possibly can. And I know that she is going to try to vindictively knock me down at any chance she gets as hard as she can. Again, she's saying the spike in his subs in September and the graph, blah, blah, blah. She's using that as proof. Um, what happened here is something that I even told YouTube about. I don't have the freaking stuff I wish I did. That would be perfect. What happened here is someone view botted me, like follow botted me. Someone actually follow botted me. And they were removed. Like those were removed. As you can see, the next day, follow bot. And the next day, it was removed. It was removed from my YouTube channel, the follow bots. Because it was follow body. So of course it's going to be removed. But yeah. I mean, you can take this with a grain of salt. You can take this with whatever evidence you want. You could say I bought one, but it was follow botting. It's really, that's all it was. It was follow botting. Uh, I, bots do that all the time. They do that on Twitch. I got follow botted on Twitch recently too. So that's all this was. Uh, I need you to remember that I have two brain cells, so I didn't put this together later. Generally thought I was helping a friend in need who was just unjustly punished. This is who I am. She did give me kind words. She did help me. And here is the thing. Um, this is when I started uploading the second channel, blue, one, one blue scroll. Holy crap. Holy crap. She's actually saying that I copied that one video gamer. Seriously? Copying him? Of all people, the completionist? Oh my god. Oh, this angers me. But of course, people are going to say what they're going to say. But oh my god. There are pauses in here because I just can't believe this. I just honestly can't believe this. Uh, she's, like I said, she's vindictive. At this point, she's angry. She's vindictive. This whole freaking thing is about vindictiveness. Here's the guy I've been covering in my recent videos. The one completionist username. Rebranded my channel from Lady Nekozawa to Lady VTuber. Uh, and then did Salvi VTuber. It's shorter. Guess what? Salvi VTuber won a, uh, a poll that I had. I had different ones. I had Salvi the VTuber Squirrel, Salvi V2, you know, the, the blue VTuber. I had the blue squirrel VTuber, I had Salvi the blue squirrel VTuber. I had other ones. You can ask people in my community, but of course they're not going to be here. And no one's going to know because they're all just taking this at face value. Uh, I don't have any ownership of that type of formatting. No one does. Around January 2024, when I started seriously noticed him coming for me as the video releases sometimes came within hours of mine, it applied an immense amount of pressure and stress on me. That was not my intent. That was literally not my intent. Like I said, I was testing the waters because I even did some at like 12 or 1 a.m. And those did okay because depending on time zones, there were ones that I did, like I've been doing some at 12 p.m. 
been doing some at different hours. I've been doing a lot of testing. I don't can't prove it because I don't know what tool she's using to get the exact hours. I don't know the exact tool she's using because I I'm not smart enough to use all those tools. I'm a dumbass squirrel. I've already mentioned this to you before. I'm a dumbass and I'm I'm doesn't excuse things that you know I've actually done wrong and I'll admit when I've actually done wrong. But I'm a dumbass. I don't know how to use these tools. I just started testing all these different things. Need everyone to understand, I record my reaction videos live on stream because I'm working a job, trying to get the reactions while streaming, and then use that as YouTube content later. At this time, I'm still unaware he was, in, in my opinion, very likely watching the streams. I did not watch any one of those streams. I did not watch those streams. You know why I started doing the, the uh, live stream ones? I'll be very honest with you. Before, I used to record it just like uh, False ID did, where I would do each recording separate, and I would do it on a separate way. That ended up taking a ton of time for me. I have family obligations. I have a job myself. I have a lot of things. And that would take me from beginning to end about five hours to do a video. When I do it on my live stream and I record from my live stream, that cuts it down to just editing at the end. Um, and what I do is I press the record button on Streamlabs OBS and that makes it record for me. I do that, I guess you could say, because of laziness, of not wanting to go through five hours of putting everything through. And at this point, I'm just done with her as she's done with me. I'm just going to continue making my content, continue doing my stuff. If people hate me, let them hate me. Completely blind to this idea. Again, this really seems more like conspiracy theory, and this seems like uh, someone who is becoming extremely nervous and um kind of losing it a bit and that is like she said she's she's kind of getting stressed um those are really weird to pop up with this honestly and you guys know i'm an opinionated person so there we go um yes i put this here i put nidisanji blank survivor yeah i put the uh the crown on the head again differentiate myself from what she's doing and I use different, a, I'm using a different font. I'm using the surrounds like you can see. She doesn't have the surround. I have the surround. She doesn't have the surround. I have the surround. Um, all these things, uh, let's see, Nidhi Sanji, Ian, and she's, she's picking and choosing, of course. She's picking and choosing because these are what makes her look good. There were some times I did it hours before her. Sometimes I did it a day before her. There's some things that, like I said, while she was gone for OttawaCon or whatever it was, I was doing content still. If I'm copying exactly her content, then how can I'm doing content on days that you're not around? I'm doing double uploads. I'm doing things like that. How can that be if I'm copying your content? Um, this one, yeah. Hugo and V Reverie was, were another big thing, of course. And he started shortly after. I was, you know, mine, I always start at 5 p.m. I always start at 5 p.m. She always starts, uh, she started doing live streams every day around January. She was always a Tuesday, Thursday VTuber. And um, I remember that from back in the day. And I even looked up her schedule. I think she was usually Tuesday, Thursday. Uh, I started doing these things because, you know, it's popular. Um, and like you said, different things. I have my, my blue surround I was using for videos way before her. I was using the blue surround. Where did I get my inspiration for the blue surround on my thingy? I wanted to make it different. I wanted to make it different from hers. Why did I use my blue surround? I'll be honest, I got the idea from False, False ID. He has a purple surround for his. And I got the idea, it's like, hey, purple. Mine is more bluish, so I'll do blue to differentiate myself from, from other people. Because the purple is his, the purple is his own. So I want to make the blue my own. Now she's saying that this surrounding, the red border, like she says right here, the red border um, is uh, trying to differentiate her content from her other content. She's saying that her red border is me copying it. That pisses me off. That pisses me off because she's saying I'm not, basically saying I'm not original. She's saying that I can't have a, a thought in my body. And I really, really take offense to this. And then, yeah, basically she's saying the same thing, that the border, no one owns her border. Like I said, I got it from false ID, honestly. I don't know where she got it from, but my idea, I got it from false ID. I was like, yeah, you can say I'm copying false ID. You can say that too. But I got my idea from false ID. I'm like, oh, he creates a, a, a purple border. I'm going to create a purple border. And, uh, oh, I know it. Let me, let me guess. Next, she's going to say that when she puts herself on the VTuber thing, on the, uh, the live, let me guess. I haven't read this, by the way. I haven't read this. Let me guess. The next thing she's going to say is that 
I copied her putting her VTuber face on there. Let me guess. I think that's what's going to happen. The reason I did mine, let me just let you know, because I, I guarantee you, I guarantee you she's probably going to put that on there. If not, I'm going to be surprised. Uh, False ID does that too. I'm like, well, yeah, people need to see your face, don't they? In order to, you know, kind of have that, that connection between your content and your face. And um, this thing was also a big thing. This was huge. This uh, Karen from uh, the TV station making fun of a, a kid for uh, winning a Tetris. Basically, what the kid did is that the kid got uh, a high score in Tetris that broke the game, pretty much. I followed him with notifications on, so she's following me. If a follow is stalking, then she was stalking me. She was stalking all of my content. She claims that, that I was stalking her, and this is a stalking of all of my content. She seems obsessed with this whole situation. She seems to have been become obsessed with this whole situation. Same way that you can claim that I was that you know doing all this was a stalking attempt. Her doing stuff, seeing every single thing I do, taking a look at every single content I do, can be construed as stalking too. Of course, I'm a man, so that won't go very far. But you get my drift. I didn't know she was into watching classic Tetris World Championships. I didn't know she was into this. I had no clue about this. All I was seeing is that there was news. This was on trending. This was happening. Rev says Desu mentioned it. Hedo Hay mentioned it. Like I'm mentioning, she isn't. She is not the center of anyone's universe. She's not. She's definitely not the center of mine. I watch Hedo Hay. I watch Rev says Desu, which does a lot of this kind of stuff. So, yeah. No, I don't. Again. Her mind has already convinced her at this point that this is exactly what's happening. And once you are convinced of this point, no one can convince you otherwise. Again, Matt Pat, this was huge of Matt Pat leaving. The uh this was this was oh my god. The, she's gonna say that this was fake. This, guess what I got from this one? People were like, I I I looked at it and I was like, what colors? I even looked online, what colors pop out more to the eye? Someone said, have a red background. Cool, I found a red background that I could use that wasn't just red, that kind of had like a center thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you want to see it as copying, you can see it as copying. I can see how someone could see that just looking objectively. I can see how someone could see that, but I'm trying to give you context for the whole thing. This was something that was big during the Twitch fiascos. So um, this was something that was being thrown out as well with Breath Says Desu and Hirohe. So, like I said, this was also another big thing about the 50K. Ref says Desu. A lot of other people did it. I think even Mudahar did this one. Of course, it was the next day. I was watching other people do it. And then I, then I, you know, had an idea to do it myself. Since I saw it was getting big, I wanted to see if I can get a piece of the pie from other viewers, from other like Hiro Hei and stuff like that. I mean, everyone does this where they try to get a piece of the pie. The Mika Neko divorced and accused. The Vince McMahon thing. Why was it the next day? Because again, I wasn't looking at her stuff. I was looking at Hirohe and um, Ref says Desu, who mentioned this. Because I wasn't going to mention the, the the Vince McMahon thing. Because I think before this, she did, I think, one or two videos on Vince McMahon's situation. She had done videos before this. I believe it was, yeah, it was at least one or two. You can look at her channel. I mean, we, we can even look at her channel. She did several on Vince McMahon. This is the only one I ever did on Vince McMahon. If I was copying every single bit of her content, then I would also have a bunch of things with Vince McMahon. And here's proof that she did things with Vince McMahon. This is the one, the only one she can point to. What did she do before? She did one here on the human trafficking about two, about around, around the same time. I didn't do this one. This one was later when it started getting bigger. This one here was later when it started getting bigger and that's when I got into it. I was like, ah, if it stays small and cool. If it's not, then I'll talk about it because I want to talk about things that could possibly, um, you know, get some more eyes on my side as anyone would, of course. Again, she is, um, 
she already has her perspective on this whole thing. She already does. It's completely fair that people will naturally react to the same things during the same time period, but she sees this as a pattern. She sees it as a pattern where there really shouldn't be. I enter a genre because I liked it. My opinion follows the genre. I don't talk about things that I'm not interested in. I was a WWF fan back in the day. I actually looked up to Vince McMahon and all that kind of stuff. So I'm interested in the wrestling. I'm more interested in, well, I'll be honest with you. I'm more interested in drama. I'm more interested in news stories. I'm more interested in that type of stuff, reacting to things. Um, the Vince McMahon thing caught my interest because, yeah, he's an asshole. He's always has been. But this is, you know, drama that's popping up. I guess you can call me a, a person who enjoys drama too much. That's what happened. Not to copy her or anything like that. It was just drama. We're barely on 26 of 64. There are times when I once entered a different genre. He followed. Like I said, I was like a lost puppy. You can consider that like a lost puppy. Is that my fault? Yes, absolutely. Not that my fault. I've, she popped up with things I didn't. I wouldn't have seen or even looked at if uh, I didn't see the fact that she was doing it. So I was like, let me have my opinion on it. That is... Um, that I own up to that. I own up to being like a lost puppy. I own up to that. And if that makes me a bad person, well then, okay, that makes me a bad person. And I'll take this as a learning experience to just... And I have taken these things as a learning experience. Ever since she uh, claimed that I copied her, I've been trying to make my own content, differentiating myself enough so that she would no longer feel uncomfortable about me supposedly copying her. But again, it's all public opinion at this point. There are times once I enter a different genre that he followed an opinion, again, saying he can't cover the news. Up to this point, I've tried to establish, in my opinion, he imitates my work. However, we get into where I started to going hard into YouTube. And that's when I started going as hard into YouTube because of the, um, the Nidhi Sanji thing. She didn't start going into the daily, uh, the daily VTubing uh, streams in January. I didn't start doing it until, I believe, late February. I believe it was late February when I started doing mine. Uh, when I showed you before in the early part where she was angry at me because I was getting good views and I was getting a lot of views and she wanted to be part of that podcast. Because she thought it was a podcast, but it was an open VC. That's around the time that I started doing daily stuff because I started seeing that people were actually watching and listening. And I was like, well, let's see how far this goes. Let's see how I can create a community. <clears throat> I noticed people love to hear VTuber news because those were my most, most viewed recent posts. I wanted to make content viewers would watch. I was learning through my experiences, what people wanted to see. Me... She, she was learning through experiences of what people wanted to see. Me, yeah, I was just speaking about whatever was was around. Like what I found in Nidhi Sanji, what I found interesting in Kuro Sanji now, now that Kuro Sanji exists. What I found interesting, what I found that people were talking about more. Um, and like I said, I sometimes put out videos two times a day or more. Look at kind of Shira thing. I covered it. She didn't cover it at all. She actually recently uh, put out what video? I don't even know what video she's putting out recently. She, uh, let's look at her videos again. Put out something with Pomu. She put out the Nidhi Sandy Defense Force thing. That was like a day after I put mine. You could put that, uh, that she copied me on that one. If you want, if you want to go by the same logic she's doing. Uh, I did two Sayu vids. Um, I'll go to my, uh, Salvi the Blue Squirrel side. And, um, cause I did... Here we go. Here's mine. Uh, she doesn't have a header. I do. Um, she did the Pomu. I didn't do Pomu. I did Luca. Uh, she did the Nidhi Sandi Defense Forces five days ago. In those five days, I did uh, Kotoka Mental Breakdown, Investors Angry, Nidhi Sandi Stock Falls, uh, Pomu Indie Redebut, Vishojo Debut, From Vishojo to Nidhi Sanji, The Fan Base Crumbling, uh, you see all these videos that I've made? Not Pomu Comeback, uh, Nidhi Sanji Concert Doomed. That was when she left. That was the five day ago. And in the in the five in the days she's been there, she says those five days she's done two. In those five days since she was gone, I did this one. I did the Luka Kanashiro one. I did the full document on Luka Kanashiro. I did the Mad Frenzy. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Before she even came back. 
I did like nine or 10 videos before she came back. If I'm copying her, then why the hell would I make nine videos in five days if I'm actually copying you? This is where it's like a persecution fetish. It's like a victim complex. I don't know what it is. Yes, I will admit in my early days, I was like a lost puppy. I was trying to figure out my place and I flew too close to the sun. I'll admit that. But like you saw, like you saw on my Mad Salvi channel, I've done a lot of things that were different around the same things that she mentioned. Yeah, I did the AA5 thingy. I did the S15. I was doing the Mickey Mouse. I was doing a bunch of different things that she wasn't doing. The MF Ghost thing. She tries to pretend that the MF Ghost thing was something I copied. I like Initial D. I liked it on MF Ghost. I did recaps. Recaps where it was just the racing. I had to edit out that part. I edited out everything else because if it was, I found out that if it was under seven minutes, then it wouldn't get copyright claimed. That's what I was doing. So I actually did work. I didn't just copy, directly copy paste. You know, that's what pisses me off about the whole situation. So I gained for my gains because he imitated everything I did in her opinion. Again, this pisses me off. Probably wasn't even aware I was experimenting with different topics, genres. And when I landed on a VTuber news, he gained, he gained it because I led him there unintentionally. No. I saw I was getting big. I saw the Salentotsky thing. I'm a VTuber myself. I follow the news. I saw, yes, of course, I saw it was getting big. Hirohei did it. Um, Falsus things were huge when he did it. Kyo was huge when he did those things. You know, that is one thing that I followed because I saw the trend. She told me a while back, like I think it was like a year ago maybe, or maybe several months ago, follow trends. That's the only way you're going to be able to make it out there. Follow trends. So I did exactly that. I did exactly what she told me. I followed trends. The trend led us to the same place. When a pod is acknowledged, I do not own the news or gossip. She's doing this to try to absolve herself of seeming vindictive. This is why she's doing it. She's doing it because everything that she's doing here makes her look like persecution fetish, like she is um, victim complex, and like she thinks she owns the news. And she wrote this here because she wants to seem more level-headed. And she wants to be like, oh, well, this would make me look bad. So let me say, I don't own the news. I don't own this. I don't own that. Because guess what? There are bigger people than us. False ID, kill other people. So this is, again, her trying to save face, I think, in that sense. That's my opinion. Again, it's just an opinion. I see. And then she pulls the trusted friend. I think this is manipulation in this way. That's the way I see it. At least, again, my opinion again. People, of course, talk about the news. I'm not saying I have an issue with that. I did lots of research on how channels develop. I haven't done research. I haven't done too much more research other than the videos, which is like basically what the algorithm is. Um, you know, I watch different channels. I watch vidIQ. I watch TubeBuddy. I watch those videos because those are big videos that give you insights onto all these things. Now you feel the YouTube to grow an audience, so I 100% committed to that subject. That's the same type of videos I've seen. Narrow, find a niche. You niche down is what it's called. That's what she's trying to explain. She's trying to explain niching down. She's not using the term because, of course, it would make, make it seem like she is talking down to people. But that's what it means, niching down. Finding your niche and sticking to it. Started to develop a style from, style from my thumbnails. Hopefully it comes across the following images. I will just show us a few examples for brevity. And yeah, the blue, the, the blue background. I did a different one. The black background. I did a different one. Um, I did this, the Shilaniti Sanji document. I did uh, Rosami. Uh, again, what I learned was dark background, contrasting colors. And as you can see, I did the, the blue surround. They're similar? Of course they're going to be similar. It's about the same thing. Uh, I did test out other thumbnails. And it's not shown here because where she grabbed the screen caps... Um, when she grabbed the screen caps, I had already tried maybe three or four different thumbnails, and I saw how it was growing depending on the thumbnails. Um, I also used uh, YouTube is testing a feature of thumbnail A-B tester. A lot of the big ones have thumbnail A-B testers, and I use a thumbnail A-B tester, which is basically saying you give them two thumbnails, they decide which one's better. I did that, and this one went out. It always went out. So I stayed with this one. Um, you can clearly see the thumbnails being the same. He started heavily imitating my thumbnails. In my opinion, it becomes very obvious. I want to read it. It's called hijacking. Um, here is a message received regarding the issue. Thinking your channel and had to ba back out and find yours. And I'm sorry that people felt that. I'm sorry people felt that. Um, if people are confusing me for her, I don't want that. I don't ever, ever want to be confused for her. Especially not now. 
seeing how vindictive she is, seeing how evil this document is, I don't ever want to be associated with her again. So I'm going to start making different thumbnails because I do not want to be associated with that cat Gyaru VTuber. I don't want to have anything to do with her. I loathe her at this point because of what she's doing. A few weeks ago, I realized, okay, wow, this guy's watching my streams in real time. I'm not. Uh, and getting in my content ideas, I'm not. Uh, but again, you guys can do, it, do with this information what you will. He's then trying to get his uploads out before me to create a scenario where he is the one being copied. No, that's not true. That's, again, like I said, it's a persecution fetish. It really seems like a persecution fetish. It's called a fetish, but it's not an actual fetish. It's when people are, like, thinking that they're victimized, that they're the victims the whole time. Um, that is my opinion, again. I could be 100% wrong, but she's showing here. She's thinking that she's being copied. She's thinking that I'm watching, I'm wasting time watching her stuff when I'm making my own stuff. Um, again, it's left up to you guys to believe it or not, but I, it really does seem like a victim complex on my, on my side. And I, why am I going rough on this? Because I'm pissed. Because this really is trying to make me look as creepy as possible. She is trying to make me look like a super creep. She's trying to make me look like someone who is has nothing better to do in his day. She's trying to make this happen. And in fact, she put out this document specifically to harm me. She put out this document specifically at this point in time because she knew I streamed around 5 p.m. She put it out and she let me know, you know, what was going on. Uh, she, didn't, she didn't let me know what was going on. But, you know, this let me know what was going on. This let me know what was happening. And uh, someone from my community ended up spreading this to me and let me know about this situation. So that's why I'm responding to this. She really does seem like someone who is just trying, actually literally believes that she is a victim of, of stalking, of whatever this is. So again, the reason I know this is that mutual friend of mine had a conflict with Salvi, uh, pointing out the imitations. The mutual would be someone with me and, and, um, and her. Salva dismissed it as we are both just doing the news. That is when my opinion, he intensified his imitation even more. Holy crap. Yeah, this this to me, it seems um, very, very paranoid. She's very paranoid here. This needs to be dealt with because paranoid, paranoia like this, like severe paranoia like this is damaging, as she already knows. It causes a lot of anxiety, causes a lot of stress, and I wish the best for her. So she should definitely make sure not to be as paranoid as this, uh, to not have the victim complex that she currently does. She has no proof for these things. This is just her putting it out here. And why is she putting it out in this document? Because she's a cat Gyaru VTuber who is trying to gain sympathy, trying to gain brownie points, trying to get me canceled off of Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. That's what she's trying to do. She's trying to get me canceled for this. He started getting edits of his live streams out while he was still streaming. I only did that once. I only did that once. I never do edits while I stream. The only time I did anything was I was grabbing, I think it was actually about a week ago as of this, this uh, recording. I think it was about a week ago where I actively told my audience, oh, don't worry about this. I'm just grabbing some stuff and putting it in uh, the timeline for the place that I do my editing. Um, and that is the way I see this. It is she, like I said, this is all victim complex. This is all persecution fetish. This is all, again, fetish is the way that it's used. It's a per, per okay, I'm going to use, I'm not going to use fetish anymore. Persecution complex. It's a persecution complex. She thinks it, her mind is piecing things together based on the information she has. The information is wrong. These are all assumptions she's making. And these are wrong uh, because I know my side. But of course, uh, I'm just saying it, but you know, no one's going to really be seeing my side. At least I don't think so. I don't know how that's even possible without an editor, yet he's on Twitter proclaiming he's a one-man show. I am a one-man show. In fact, um, I kind of had an idea that something like this was going to happen. The one-man show uh, thing that she claims. Uh, where did I have it?
yeah, like I said, I had, a, I had an inkling that she was going to be doing this. So here's what I have to go through every single day. After I stream, I go through every single little clip. All of these are the point where I press the record button and I turn it off during a stream. Uh, like I said, this is for ease of use for me. These are all the things I send through. And I do it myself. I put everything through myself. Again, she's trying to fully discredit me saying I have a team. I'm a poor man. I, I don't have a team. I just have myself. I have a community. I don't have a team at all. Here's a clip pointed out to me by a viewer. In this clip, he's actively listening to my live stream. Ah, uh, yeah. You know why I started doing this recently? Because I'm paranoid myself. I'm paranoid myself. Yeah. I'll admit to it right now. I thought she was going to be talking about me because all these things that she was mentioning, I thought she was going to be talking about me. Let's see the clip. I thought that, yeah, I'll, I'll admit, I was, I was paranoid about it. I was paranoid because it was causing me a lot of stress. So yeah, I had some paranoia too. I had some paranoia at that point in time that I, I thought that she was talking about me. I honestly thought she was talking about me because it was right after she did that. I think one of those tweets at some point, someone po pointed it out to me and I checked to make sure she wasn't talking about me because I didn't want lies to be spread. So yeah, you can take a look at that yourself. Speculation, so believing it's about him shows how much he's concerned about being called out. I'm concerned about bad information being put out there. She's a woman. She is a cat VTuber who has parasocial fans, as everybody, every VTuber has. She shows boobs. She shows that um, she's more popular than I am. She has a much larger reach than I do. She can do what she just did right now of putting out a Google document, of putting out a Google document to harm me. She can do exactly what she did right now. So maybe I wasn't so wrong in that she was thinking of talking about me. Maybe I wasn't so wrong in thinking that something was building up because I had a feeling that she was vindictive. I had a feeling that something like this would pop up. I did know he was annoyed because she was annoyed because of the tweets that were sending and the people that were sending me the tweets. Go watch the VOD and hear speaking completely different subject. But I didn't, I didn't, I guess in my mind, in that moment of weakness, I didn't hear what was going on. Of course, the VOD's going to show everything and all that kind of stuff. Here's my VOD for your reference. Start around the time 48. You can check it out. Don't believe me. That was a, a failure on my part. I will accept that as a failure on my part. I got too paranoid because, like I said, she can twist it. If she says the truth, then it's the truth. If she says truth, I will accept the truths that are out there. But she can twist it into whatever she wants. And I am none the wiser unless I know what's going on. And of course, like I said, that is bad on my part. That was a mistake that I made. I'll own up to that mistake because I was worried she was going to smear me. I was worried she's going to put out, put out lies. And as you know, right here, she's putting out half truths, in my opinion, again. Why am I making a full on thing about this? Why am I actually doing this because I want my part to be set out here and I'm not good at making these long documents. I, I have very short attention span. I have, you know, like I mentioned, I have what I have, I have ADHD and all that kind of stuff. I have a very short attention span. So yeah, breaking point to get back to the subject. I started scheduling my videos away from just so I could get some breathing room. Uh, I would schedule between 8 to 9 in the morning rather than staying up to 3 a.m. editing. Now, if she does her editing herself, I will apologize for that. I thought she had an editor because, like I said, there were some times for her where it was one hour after she talked about Nidhi Sanji or like by 20 minutes after she talked about Nidhi Sanji and she would have a video out about it. I was like, whoa, about the same subject. Like her, her live was titled something and then her video was titled something. And that was like, that was interesting. That was when I started getting curious. I, I, that was around the time that I started getting curious around the February thing. I was starting to get curious about how she was doing things. And again, that is my fault. I put too much energy into this whole thing. I really did. So that brings us to today as of writing. Schedule my video for 8 a.m., which was my new release window for the past week. I don't care if it came out first. Uh, I knew it was pushing them out ASAP. It's some kind of upload race. Uh, first past the post type scenario. And um, so this is breaking point for me. He now schedules his video going live 30 minutes before mine. 
I was trying, like I said, the morning upload. If I knew 100% that this would be having this type of harm, I don't want to harm people. I wouldn't have done it. I probably should have done it at six or seven or whatever. Like right now that I do them at like 10 in the morning or one in the, one in the afternoon or whatever. Probably should have done that instead. That was an oversight on my part. And I do apologize that it caused her any kind of stress. So I wanted to try a new point. And it worked in the sense that um, the people from the U.S. Pacific Daylight Time watch it at that point. And a lot of my people are from that time. So I started seeing right after this happened, professional gentlemen and other people uh, talking bad about me mentioning this specific upload, mentioning these times, saying it's skeezy, etc. That's the first time that I found out that this was an issue. That's the first time that I found out that there were going to be problems in regarding all this stuff. Um, and like I said, I've been kicked out of several servers. I've been uh, pretty much already ostracized because people are already going to be taking, making their decisions on all this stuff. Um, but it is what it is, you know. I did not do this intentionally to hurt her. I did not do this intentionally to take any kind of thing from her. Of course, like I said, you can consider it any way you want. Just giving you information on my side. I did not consider it that. Like I do a two, two per day, sometimes one per day. Uh, people have been telling me that I'm doing too much. Maybe I should, uh, you know, go back on that. Are the videos similar? Can we both have the same content? Everyone is covering it. Does it happen almost every day for months? That's where, you know, I can give her the um, benefit of the doubt that it can it can appear that way yes on the old channel like i said a lot of it was a lost dog trying to figure out what the hell i was going to be doing with my channel whether reaction was even for me i reacted to video games as you saw like here look at mine and then we'll look at back when she was doing reaction content before this whole big thing happened uh let's see let's go down 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 before the riku thing yes she was doing these things pretty much daily. Uh, she was doing the Dragon Ball, the Awozu thing daily. Me, around that same time, which is two months ago. Let's go two months ago on uh, like this, this type of stuff. Two months ago on this one, um, I was doing different things. I was doing, like I said, Skibbity Toilet. I was doing a huge creep. I was doing other things like that. But let's go to the Salvi VTuber just so you guys can see everything. Two months ago. Like, I've done a lot of stuff. Let's just go two months ago. Um, I did the Mika Neko is suing. I did everybody quit Oozu. I made it different. Like here is where she had the white. Like, as you can see, she had the white here at this point in time. She had the white here. I did mine black. I did mine right here, black. Completionist, I did it black. Mika Neko, I did it black. Over here, I did huge Switch Two news, which is different. I did the Xbox thing layoffs. Yeah, she also did some of the Xbox things. She did, like I mentioned, the McMansion thing, Bad Batch. I didn't do that one. Pomo denied lifetime opportunity. That one was a big one. I did that one. Killing physical media. Mine was different. Mine was Xbox 1900 fired, physical games. I just did layoffs. Power World devs, Pomo life op lifetime opportunity. Selen stealth suspended. I did things differently. The reaction. I did Billy Mitchell, which she didn't do anything for. She goes down here. The Mel situation. I did the Mel situation. I did, she started doing some things with Honda Civic. She started doing some things with Indiana Jones. Mind you, this is way before this whole current thing happened. Here she is doing, uh, here I am doing my stuff. Reaction, we own your games. Reaction, Billy Mitchell. Reaction, Billy Mitchell. Persona 3. I did something with Insane Mail Karen. I did something with Boogie. I did more things with MatPat. I did other things there that she doesn't have. Like we'll go down here. She just did a couple of things here. She did the open AI. I didn't do that. She did Amrath. I didn't do that. I was picking and choosing what I was doing because there were some things that I wasn't interested in. I didn't give a damn about AI. I didn't give a damn about this. MatPat, I've been watching him since freaking Game Theory started. Uh, the not for sale thing, I didn't do that. Um, you know, I was doing Pomo stuff. I did, you know, thing here. I did the reaction to the Sub Caitlin stuff. She didn't do anything with Sub Caitlin. She was doing other e girl stuff. I didn't do all the e girl stuff. I was doing Froggy Wawa. I was doing other things to differentiate myself. This is just on the Salvi VTuber side. No, I was doing things to just differentiate myself right here. Like even on, on um, yeah, like I was doing a bunch of things to differentiate myself. 
It's not everything. Like you're just looking in here. You look at both of our channels. We're doing different things. We're doing the full call release. We're doing the reaction. I did Gerard the Completionist will do golf tournament. I did Gerard the Completionist narcissistic thing. The full call release on her Gerard the Completionist, the sad story released from jail, that type of stuff. We're doing different things. You just look at the dates. We're doing different things. The full Discord call release. Full Discord call released. Right there. What did I do after that? I did Unbelievable. Gerard, the completionist, will do the golf tournament again. The, this one. I did this, the Stephen Hay Squid Game. I did the Chamber of Secrets animation reaction. I did the Crazy Daily Dose. I was doing things to differentiate myself from her. I wasn't directly copying every single thing. Every single thing she did was not directly done by me. I did Shrek Hits Minions. I did the Sonic Dream Team React. She didn't do a lot of these things. She did big ones like Jack is Back, Raiden and Metal Gear Rising. I didn't do that one at all. Like all these things, just look at both of the channels. We're just going through it because I want to show you that yes, there were some things that were similar. Of course there were. It happens. Um, but a lot of other things, like she's, she's nitpicking. She's picking and choosing. A lot of other things are not the way that she wants to make it seem. Here's where the slander and the defamation. I feel this is borderline predatory the way he conducted his situation, especially the ambush. If you didn't know the intense level of imitation, then you could dismiss it as coincidence releasing the same window. It's just my opinion. I conceded not posting my videos the day of filming to get away from him, and now he follows me to the same time slot in the morning. Uh, I don't. If you look at my videos, I do them uh, around midday. You look at the time when I posted my videos, they're all midday. They're around midday. I don't do them in the morning. I do them two times a day. The only time I did it in the morning was one time. That's why she only has one example. She only has one example uh, to about this because there is only one time that it's ever been done. So that's the thing. This is only one example, yet she tries to make it like it was a big thing hundreds of times that it was done. My heart is pounding. I feel so much anxiety and pressure. You feel anxiety and pressure? I'm the one that's going to be mobbed now because of you. I'm the one that is demonized because of you. Because of this very malicious and predatory statement. Um, I feel so much anxiety and pressure from someone going this intense after me. I'm not going intense after you. I don't feel it's intense after you. I have not mentioned hardly anything. I only mention things when people bring it to my opinion, my attention. Then I put it on my stuff because I want people to see my reaction. I want people to hear my side. This side may not even be heard by anybody, but I want people to hear my side. But here's the thing. I can absolutely see how for her, not having all the information, not looking at all the information, just looking at the cherry picked sides, cherry picked things that she sees in her head. Um, it can see this way. It can seem this way. And I do apologize for ever getting her to the point where she feels this way. There's a note that I didn't include here. I spoke to some other VTubers who advised me to not include Nidhi Sanji in all the thumbnails because it led to other channels getting copy striked. So if you scroll through my videos for this month, I initially uploaded a thumbnail featuring Nidhi Sanji character before changing later to avoid unjust copy strikes. And yes, Nidhi Sanji has done this to kill and has done this to false ID. Um, she's, she's an enjoyer of Initial D. I don't have a lot of manga. I just watch the anime. I can only base it on the anime. I'm not a huge enjoyer of Initial D in the sense of like manga manga. Um, I've mainly just partaken in the um, in the anime side. And this is where she is trying to be superior, in my opinion. She's trying to hold this over me. It's like, oh, you're not a true fan. You're just doing this because you because you saw me doing this. You don't know as much as I do. Gatekeeping. She's gatekeeping on this side. Because she mentions DVDs, manga, and even an actual card painted it pink. My cousin has an A86. Uh, so during my experimentation phase, she did that. And basically, she's saying I copied her on that part. Make it clear that Initial D features my many races. In this case, he didn't copy the exact race car for car. But I'm suddenly posting Initial D because I was like, ooh, I can post these and not get copyright struck? That's my worry always. It was always my worry that I would get copyright struck. And no none of those videos got a full copyright strike. They did get copyright notices. But I was like, I can do this because here's one thing you have to understand about Japan. Japan doesn't have fair use. Japan doesn't have any fair use in any way, shape, or form. So they are, they can go after you. Even here in the US, there was recently a, a YouTuber, I forget his name, who due to something he did with One Piece, the um, 
it wasn't Kyoto Animation. It was uh, the studio behind One Piece came after him in the United States. They copyright struck his channel. They almost deleted his channel. That's the fear that I had during the Initial D thing. And yeah, I put Initial D there because I was like, yeah, I like the God Hand one. I like the 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 Ryosuke versus um versus Takumi races. This is God Hand versus Keisuke. This you know things like that. She's again. She has this victimhood complex on the whole thing. Um, and here is here is something here. I didn't know Pretty Cure did anything in regarding to this. Um, and I looked for the Pretty Cure thing. She did some Spirited Away thing. I don't even know exactly what it was that she did. But I was like, oh, there are parodies. Let me look up a parody. And I found a parody and I did it. I showed it. This one was also a funny one. Um, and yes, this copy was laziness. This copy of like everything looking the same because it does look like a direct copy here it was laziness on my part i'll admit it was laziness on my part that um i grabbed the uh a specific still that i found online of someone who did you know uh the video itself and yeah that was laziness on my part i'll admit i was lazy on this one no malicious intent no intention to steal her viewers because her viewers are her viewers. Her viewers are, are, you know, whatever. And the thing is, the curious, curious case of this whole situation. Again, I'll mention it. This did not come up until I started blowing up with Niji Sanji myself. When I was a small VTuber, never had a problem with it. She never had a problem with it. This never popped up. The conversation never popped up about this whole thing. None of this ever showed up. I had no clue that she had this feeling about me. Why? Because I was a two of you. I was not a risk to her. I was not anybody that was going to be against her in any way. I was not anybody that would be seen in the same sphere as her. That's what it was. At least that's the way I see it. Because what a coincidence that when I started blowing up with my videos, and when my videos in some cases got more views because just, you know, the algorithm is strange, that's when things like the, the the message that I showed you before here about I'm just going to say if you're going doing podcasts on the same content, why not invite me and chat about it? She had no problems with any of my content before. It's when she saw that I had 2K concurrent viewers that there was an issue about it. It's when she saw that I was popping off as well. And it wasn't just her that was popping off. And maybe in some cases I was getting more views. It is what it is. I don't really see that as anything big or small, but what a coincidence that at this point in time was when she started having issues with me. It seemed like as long as I was an ant that she could crush, an ant that she didn't have to worry while she was the big cat on the field. She was a big dog out there. It was fine. At that point, it seemed like everything was okay. You're not going to say anything. There was open communication for us for years. She didn't mention a damn thing. She just left it until what? Now that I'm blowing up, now that I actually get sometimes 10K, 20K views per video, now is when you're going to do it? It seems way, way, way too suspicious for me. And again, the Luxium thing, uh, the streaming three weeks ago, Lu Luca and Luxium, difference there. She started doing the live thing. I just added Luca and Luxium to the whole thing. She did Luxium discussion, and I did Lu Luca and Luxium dying down. Oh, okay, I can see that part. I can see that part. I can see where this, where this in an objective way can see like that. That's my mistake. Uh, what I have to do is um, make sure that they don't look alike, I guess, even if I have the same thoughts. Because like I had a big leaks, Luxium failing. Luca kind of shares in big trouble. He was in big trouble. But I guess I can't use the same words. I guess they can't be similar because then it's me copying. I mean, I can see how it looks objectively, but like if someone's in big trouble, I, I've i also heard, this is why I do these things. I'm going to explain to you exactly why these things happen. I've heard use fifth grade language or below when you're making your YouTube titles because that becomes easier for people to explain, easier for people to understand. So that's why I try using big, smaller language. I can use big words. I can use, you know, not big trouble. Um, you know, I could use I could use shit. I could use other things. I could use other big words. I can go to the thesaurus and use big words, but trouble is easy to understand. 
as, like I said, you can see with my most recent things from Salvi VTuber. I use simple language. Luca's in trouble. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I copied Lydia again. Uh-oh. Luca's in trouble. Does she have a video out like that already? Uh-oh. Am I copying her? Kotaka mental break from Nidhi Sanji and Scarlet un uh, unprovo un privates. I put unprovoked. Um, Nidhi Sanji investors angry. Kotoka one month YouTube. Nidhi Sanji stock hits another bottom. Uh-oh. I'm using simple language. I can't use simple language because that is copywritten by Lydia, apparently. I'm sorry. That was just anger coming out because I'm frustrated. I can't use language that is simple. I can't use that type of stuff because, of course, that's bad. So that's what she's doing. She's putting this out here. Using this title isn't a big deal. I don't own it, but in my opinion, don't tell me for a second it wasn't pulled from my idea. Um, it's just, I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments what I should do. You guys tell me how I should face this, what I should do. I'm only 35 pages into this. We go on with this again. She's saying that um, almost like you wanted to write VTuber news. Uh, inspiration. Like I say, I say it's inspiration, but she's seeing it's copying, so I'm going to have to change it. Because, um, you know, I guess she owns news and she owns VTuber and she owns that stuff. And here we go. Decided at some point I want to start myself with thumbnails for lives rather than someone else. Like I said, here we go. Like I said before, like I said earlier, she's she didn't do it immediately, but she was eventually going to do it. Oh, my God. Of course, of course, of course, of course, she's going to mention this. Because, of course, I can't put my my face on things because she owns it. She owns it. I mean, from what she's showing here, she owns it. Um. And by the way, on my lives, let's just go to my lives right now. I switch. Um, I have my stuff here. This is me streaming. I did, you know, this is the AI thing. I put them there. I put mine on, on this one as well. I occasionally do it. I don't do it all the time. As you can see, yes, there's sometimes I'm doing it, but I occasionally do it. And this is, mind, mind you, by the way, before I was called out, before I was called out, because look, this happened uh, three days ago. Other stuff happened six days ago. Five days ago, um, you know, seven days ago, things like that. I switched them. You know, I would have just some regular stuff, Lethal Company. I would have, you know, Scarla there. So she's saying I have no original ideas. I switch things around because, you know, I don't want to be seen as copying because I can see that how this can be seen as copying. And uh, big oopsie, every YouTuber. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. I was called out. As long as, as well as what she was, I was called out as well because I put V Shoujo hates Sayu. This was on virtual YouTubers. We were called out and um, I changed mine, you know, and uh, I did. I changed mine up. I'll even show you what I changed mine as. Uh, Salvi the blue squirrel. Let's go here on this one because of the fact it was seen. I said V Shoujo not possible for Sayu. Originally, it was this one. V Shoujo hates Sayu. I just maybe showed you not possible for Sayu. Um, and I guess she's going to say that as copying too. Other strange copying. First of all, my live streams have an issue. It's personal failing. I struggle to read both chats in YouTube and Twitch at the same time. I know there's a merge chat feature somewhere, but I'm not tech savvy enough. I don't do merge chat features. You know exactly what I do? YouTube chat on top. Twitch chat with my, slow, my, my Streamlabs OBS on the bottom. I have a big screen, a screen big enough where I can see both. I have my YouTube chat on top, which is directly from YouTube, and I have my Streamlabs OBS on the bottom. I do also have issues with reading them all. I've had complaints of people missing my chats. So now I have something that pops up that's a listen, Linda, so that people can get my attention on Twitch because I've been uh, ignoring Twitch a bit on that. Was I, I did this out of anger. I'll be honest with you. I did this out of anger. I, this is a failing on my part. Because at this point, she had already started being aggressive. She already started, you know, in a sense, I'd already seen her be this way. So I was a little angry at this, this passive aggressiveness that she shows at the very top. I was a little angry at that. So I started doing that when she said that she, she puts it on Twitch. Uh, she, she didn't put a personal failing. She didn't put that until later. So when she started doing that, I posted on Twitch. I was like, I try to read both chats. So people know that I'm paying attention to them. And that I am, uh, you know, watching it. I will admit that was 
my anger got the best of me at that situation. I shouldn't have done that because it was felt like a slight. I did it more like I'm differentiating myself from her. She only reads Twitch chats, which in my opinion was Mark was showing that she prefers Twitch to her YouTube. I'm going to show that I don't have any preferences. I'm going to show that I'm different than her. I don't have preferences. I read whatever's up. I read whatever happens. Spot is an impact and it's not default on Windows. I had to go out of my way to get it. I didn't know this was, well, let me show you exactly where I got this uh, from. Is it something? It's on Streamlabs OBS because um, it's something that I got from Streamlabs OBS directly. So that the impact, I don't even know what font I used. To be honest with you, I don't know what font I used. Um, like, I didn't know. Like, I don't see that my fonts are the same. I always thought my fonts is different, honestly. Even here, I don't even see that they're the same. Like, I don't know what font. Like, I honestly don't see them as the same, the fonts. I just wanted a big, bold font. And it's something that Streamlabs OBS has. You can look it up. Streamlabs OBS has that for text. I had that text on the bottom for Streamlabs OBS. I don't know if it's impact. I don't know what the ever the hell it is. Apparently, it's impact. Apparently, I'm, I'm, I'm a leech in every single way. Oh, God. All these specific layout. Uh, this was something that I was doing before, and I changed it. Um, and I put, yes, what I put down there. Ah, mine is different, though. Mine is scrolling. I did a scrolling version of it. I did scrolling on mine. If you look at my channel, whenever I, I stream, I do scrolling down there. One complaint I got from this, one complaint I got from having it this big is that certain parts couldn't be read because my fat face was in front of it. Um, here's the big one. It's a big coincidence, she says. So I got complaints. Mine is different now where I have it smaller because I, I had complaints that my big fat face was, was covering these things. So I put it down there. Because I'm not going to put it up on the top of the screen. It blocks. It'll block anything and everything that I'm watching. Uh, that's why also I made it smaller. If you look at my layout now, it's much smaller. If you look at like at the bottom, I have a bottom area there. And that's where I put that scrolling text. I did not know she was hate rated. I didn't even know she was hate rated. I have no, I had no clue she was hate rated. Again, there's paranoia here. Honestly, you shouldn't be this paranoid. There's paranoia here. There is a victim complex here. There's a persecution complex going on. She is basically blaming me at this point for the hate raid. I don't know why she would do that other than she feels really aggrieved and she's paranoid about certain things, which is her right to be, honestly. See, I want to be clear with you. I don't find these completely egregious on their own, but if broader context of a guy allowing his community to believe I'm copying him, in my opinion, I'm sharing this. Let's talk about hooks. Hooks are the first 5 to 15 seconds. Yes. You know what hook I emulate, to be perfectly honest with you? The hook I emulate um, because I look up to the person. And I guess you could be seeing this as copying. I emulate more um, false ID with the way I want to do the hooks. I don't emulate her. I don't even, well... Uh, let's see. What is this? Open link. New set of comparison videos. Same warning. Let's take a look. Hey guys, just letting you know before the video starts. This ah, yes, this was back in the day. On this one, yes, I'll admit, I did sim. I did something similar. Let me. Oh, and then she's going for the for that. I knew she would hit this eventually. Yes, I started using memes as well. I thought it was funny. I thought it was fun. That was a fun thing to do. I didn't see this as directly copying. I saw it as being inspired by. So I also found out that the program that I use does, you know, face capture and that type of stuff. And yeah, I have this from now on. Uh, this one, let's see. Where, what is she saying here? So again, she's saying that I'm, I'm copying her. Again, cherry picking. Easy uses bar tones, which I have no ownership of, but the huge coincidence when I looked at bigger picture. It's just, it is just a coincidence, honestly. But again, you guys can take it as you will. As I'm pretty sure there are a lot of people who've already had themselves convinced one way or the other. 
And my video is very long, so I'm pretty sure a lot of people won't wa watch it. Let's talk about hooks. Yes, yes, yes. My current hook, if you look at the things that I do, for example, my current hook, before she made this, by the way, here's my current hook of the Kotoka video. Let's look at the current hook. Okay, yeah, we have this part. Kotoka Zoraki is on a mental break for health. Akai has invited Nakara Khan and Nakomu, and Lady Sandy's prices keep falling. People keep throwing memes on them. We want them to get to the 20 to 34, etc. for the Lady Sandy memes. That is so much more on this episode. That's my, that's my intro. My outro, oops, I made it too big. My outro is this. Like, let's go all the way over here to where my outro is. It's my outro that I've been having for a long time. You can look at my videos. Watching, comment down below. Please, I love having these conversations with you guys. I love seeing your opinions on all of this. Of course, also... Uh... So, yeah. And like I said, I have all these videos and all this stuff. I have to delete a lot of them because, holy crap, I don't have enough space. I was high alert from intense level of imitation. Uh, I was invited to a collab with other content creators. Really excited. My opinion after he began visiting streams and imitating my messages in chat in real time is absurd. Again, not earth shattering, but absolutely bizarre. I don't know, man. It's this is tiring. This is tiring for me, honestly. Yeah, I want to say people. I want to let people know to have a good day. Like I say that on my freaking streams. At the end of my streams, I, I tell everyone have a good day, take care, that kind of stuff. Uh, I can't see her because you know I have her, I believe, hidden or something, hidden from me, my view, I believe. So these are things that she's seeing, and I'm like, okay. Um, I do watch Rima's videos. I've watched Rima's videos for a long time. So this is this is what it is. I mean, the people who've already made their decisions. The people who have already abandoned me, the people who have already left, they're going to leave. And that is what it is. I'm going to continue making my content. I'm going to continue going forward and doing things the way that I see they should be done. I didn't. I had to cancel my live stream because I didn't feel that um, I was in a proper mental state to do that. But I'm going to be, I decided to respond to this instead. Twitter friends, bizarre occurrence. I didn't realize until the breath of the copy and came to light. Collab with her, talk to her on Twitter regularly. Sunny, oh my God, oh my God, she really does have a persecution complex. She really does have paranoia. Holy crap! Holy crap! This is this is. I don't know what to say other than this is paranoia. In my opinion, the thing is. If you don't, if you aren't social out there, and this is actually pushing me back into my bubble, it's actually pushed me back years on my social aspects because I feel people are, have already made their decision about me. I, like I said, I already have social anxiety. I have a lot of these things and I was trying to get out there. I'm not as socially active as she is. She's a social butterfly. I'm not. I'm that weird and lanky and strange kid in the in the in the corner that everybody tries to avoid because I don't talk very much. For the privacy, I won't share them here, but it bothered me deeply. When he was doing this, this first one made the decision to block him on Twitter. She blocked me on Twitter. And here's where um Salvi chatbot. I don't know how that happened. The chatbot, I have a chatbot on my my thing. Um the chatbot just subscribed. Like I found out the other day I was, I was subscribed to her and I unsubscribed. I absolutely un, unfollowed. I unfollowed. I don't know what's, oh, you know what this was? It, it, it was subscribed. Okay. I get this. Cause I was confused. I was confused. Like I unfollowed her a while back. Uh, the Salvi chatbot is something that I use to, uh, put chat messages in Twitch for like, you know, hydrate. Thank you for this. Thank you for that. It's a chat bot that I use. That one, I think it was, I have this one for at least like maybe three, four months or so. So before this whole thing happened, I had this. I had that and other ones uh, subscribe to Lydia and other things because I wanted to make, it was before she blew up. So I wanted to make it bigger and make, you know, at least have another extra one. And, you know, what's what's the, the harm in doing that? And um, notification at the big blow up of moderators, a mutual friend and Salvi being made aware. I'm displeased with its imitations. Uh, re-following me. Uh, I don't know what this one's about. Brand hijacking. 
uh, stop me by another YouTuber, copying the content creators, thumbnails, titles, etc. Um, if it's seen as brand hijacking, uh, the only thing I can really do is change what I'm doing. Uh, because, of course, the bigger VTuber, I guess, has the ownership of the brand. And I can change, I guess. But I don't know. We'll see. I, I honestly don't see it as brand hijacking, but she does that. Accused of clout chasing. Uh, early in view two being called out for cloud chasing. Uh, however, he has since deleted the comments, so it looks like I'm taking it to myself. Honestly, like I said, when this thing happened of her doing this, I started deleting a bunch of comments because I was just like, I want to delete everything. But then my laziness got, got the best of me. And I was like, wait a minute. If I delete things after I deleted stuff, of course, it only happens after you delete stuff. I was like, holy crap, this is going to make me look bad. And I bet you she's going to do this to make me look bad. And yeah, it looks very bad. I don't even know what the heck those things were for. I don't even know what the heck what those things were about. To be honest with you, I have a really bad memory. But yeah, I messed it up for myself here. I absolutely messed it up for myself here by doing this. I don't even know what I deleted. I don't even know how much I deleted. But I think at that point, the only thing I can remember feeling is wanting to just get rid of everything, wanting to crawl up into a ball and just disappear. Uh, back in February, because someone that I thought was my friend was mistreating me and was having this thing happen, you know? These are all raw feelings, by the way. These are all raw emotions. This is all me just chatting, and it's all raw. A lot of confusion is going to happen because my brain is everywhere, so I apologize for that. Second channel, again, she's accusing me of buying subs. So when he allegedly bought the 1K subs for a second YouTube channel, Social Blade, but was stupid and didn't screenshot it, Nearly every other channel has a subscriber history for at least one year back. Now, mysteriously, Social Blade does not show a subscriber history for his channel before he hit the 1K. I don't know. I don't know why that is. Ask Social Blade, not me. Nearly every other channel has a subscriber history. She's, she's saying that I went into Social Blade and did these things? Holy crap. Wow. I did not know that that was how deep the rabbit hole went. Holy crap. She's really saying these things. If you look here, you see that he magically has 1K subs and only 6K views. That's the greatest conversion rate of anybody. Like I said, it was not bought anything. I don't know if it was bots or anything. I was just happy that I that I suddenly hit monetization. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was bots or if it was whatever. I didn't buy it. I don't have the money to buy those things. Uh, my growth has been slow. Like, for example, for every 100 or 200 or 300 viewers, like subscribers that she gets, I get like two or three. I think, like when I look at it, like each day she grows, like I think, I think a hundred subs or something. Uh, but like she has really good growth, which I'm happy for. And I don't, which is what it is. I'm a male. I'm a male in this VTuber thing. So has 1,040 subscribers, 6975 views. His data before this point is mysteriously missing. I think it's a legit system bug. I don't check my social blade stuff. I don't. I'm getting sweet. Yes. Uh, I said, it's another weird stuff, for example. Yes, I, re I reacted to this one. This was reactionary on my part. I mentioned it earlier in the, in the whole thing. This is reactionary on my part. She said, she did the whole th copying thing. And I said, I love a VTubing community, but some people need to relax. Uh, we can all coexist without animosity or passive aggressiveness. It should be a community, not competition. I still believe that. This is utter bullshit. Screw you, Lydia. Screw you. You're saying that I raided your channel? I got from people who know you that, yes, that you that you did get raided in your Discord server. Now you're saying that I did that? That I did that? Again, this is very much paranoia. This is very much victim complex, and this is very much a persecution complex. She is attributing to malice things that can just be, you know, attributed to someone else. She's attributing it all to me because I am enemy number one. So she's attributing, attributing everything to me. Uh, it says, got raided, and someone using an anonymous account posted a series of images and copies of his copies. Huh? It upset me as my community. Wait, who would do this? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't even know this. Holy crap. Wait, what? Got raided, and someone using an anonymous account posted a series of images of his copies. What? I didn't even know this happened. It upsets me as my community is meant to be a positive space, as mine is. We're protecting ourselves from raiding as well, because once I knew that hers was raided. 
I had a feeling she, they were going to retaliate because, of course, as you're seeing in this in this whole thing, they're seeing me as the enemy. They're seeing that she put it there specifically so it would seem like I did it or someone in my community did it. That's the thing. That's what pisses me off about this. I am really angry at this. I would never do this, number one. But of course, you can believe me or not, but I would never do this. I already knew copying was going on, but the incident was upsetting. I don't need this. No one needs this. No one needs someone being that bitter and that angry and that spiteful to make a Google document. And no one needs to be that bitter, spiteful, and whatever to actually go in there and do the whole copying thing. I don't know why would someone do that. I fully, fully disavow that. My community knows that. If I find out who did that, they are no longer welcome in my community. This is totally something brand new to me. I knew she was raided, but I thought it was NSFW stuff that was put in there because someone told me uh, of my community, someone told me that there was information out there that her server was raided. I'm not going to out that person because they don't deserve to be outed. But someone informed me that her community was raided and that she thought it was me. Uh, I thought it was NSFW stuff that was put in there because that's what I was told. And I thought it was like what happened with me because also that's what's happening with me. I get people posting NSFW things. I get people posting discord.gg things in my discord. So I thought the same thing was happening with her. I don't raid anybody. I don't do any negative raids. I don't even know how to do negative raids, to be honest with you. I don't know. Like, I don't know the process of doing that. So that's just malicious for her. It's bullshit. And it's very malicious for her to say these things about me. And here, tweeted this once I discovered he had unfriended me. I unfriended her. Because, I'll just put it out here, um, I have this here too. And uh, there we go, where is it? Darn it, I don't have it, but I'm pretty sure it's here. Pretty sure it's going to be here. Uh, yes, I saw that one. And um, because someone put this out for me, um, it says, I need to vent a bit, betrayed by a person I thought was a friend. Because, honestly, I wasn't imitating. Oh my gosh, you see, I even imitated this. Oh my god. She's saying I even imitated this. Oh my God. Holy crap. It says now they are sending mutuals and some false information all without even trying to communicate with me or anything. I had broken down right in front of my dad because I did. And like I mentioned before, here is the communication that I tried to do with her. Did I do something on February 28th? I tried to have communication as you can see here. March 16th, I tried to have communication with her as she, you show, they said there. Here, Nico, which is the person that, that was involved in all this. I try to put information here. It's like, I don't want to mess anything up. Community is important. This was done on the 4th of March. Again, um, I can have another screenshot right here. Again, here's a space where you can hash things out. I'm open to that, but I can understand if there's a desire to, I respect her wishes. There you go. That is the stuff that happened. I tried to have contact. Like, that's, I'm not lying when I say she didn't even try to communicate with me at all because she felt aggrieved. So I can understand that point. She's saying that I imitated her on this. Oh, fuck this shit. Straight up. Screw you, Lydia. I'm beyond pissed at you right now. I tried to be rational with this whole thing, but I'm beyond pissed at you. All of this to me, seems like paranoia. Some of it, like, yeah, when it came to certain uh, videos that I made, certain topics that I discussed were the same topics you discussed because I found them interesting and I wanted to do that. Certain, uh, like I showed before, all of the stuff that I did, I did things separately. But of course, people will take information as how they will and they won't watch a two-hour video on this whole thing. Broke down in front of my dad. Uh, VTuber uprising. Um, I'm stupid with hashtags. I'm absolutely stupid with hashtags. I'm absolutely done with that. I wanted to spread the word. I wanted to spread the reach of it. And I'm stupid with that. I'm stupid with that. I actually hadn't spoken to anyone about this issue, so I don't know why he's saying it with false information. Um, I, what I meant by false information was all this stuff over here. Basically, I felt that that was false information. thought that that was all crazy. Didn't accept this request. This is all without naming him, yet why are his mods now contacting me? Because they were trying to get the other side. They were trying to see what was happening. They were trying to... My mods were uh, being very kind to me. And they were trying to see if they could fix it. 
And apparently this isn't something that could get fixed, but they were trying to see if it could get fixed. Um, and uh, it's around this time, I said to Mesh is asking, what's your deal? Uh, it didn't send me a message. Didn't send me a message at all. Like I didn't send a message. I didn't see that message about what's your deal. That was the last time I would interact with him. I knew, I knew anything. I said it would be manipulated, so I said nothing. His defense. Uh, yes. Um, I, it is evil and disgusting that she would weaponize her community. She's weaponizing her community right there. I can't talk to her because, as you see right here, I tried talking to her. I tried mentioning things to her. She was not open to it for a long time. Friends of ours tried to get us into contact. She was not open to it for a long time. She blocked me first. I couldn't get into contact with her. Um, it's bad faith straw man argument. That makes no sense at all. It made an ambiguous tweet. No, this is not an ambiguous tweet. You showed me in your tweet. This is not ambiguous. It's disgusting. You're weaponizing your fan base. You're weaponizing parasocial fans. Anyone who might might be liking you a lot. You are causing this. You're causing this issue. You're weaponizing your fan base, knowing that they're going to come after me, knowing that that you have a larger reach than I do. This, she blocked me several days before she made this. And when I found out about it, because I was given a screenshot of it, then I made my tweet. It says, uh, using me to back in your proof that I am guilty, there's just evil and disgusting turn of events. Timestamps don't lie, lie, Lydia. They don't lie. And I said she made her choice. What did I mean by she made her choice? She made her choice to block me. So I'm going to block her back. Again, she is attributing to malice something that is just innocent. She has, like I said, again, she has paranoia going on. At least that's the way it seems on my end. She has a victim complex. At least that's the way it seems on my end. And she has a uh, persecution complex, as it seems to be on my end. She sees this as ominous when this is just an innocent one. Truly it is. It's innocent. And what did I do? Why, did it, why is it innocent? Because I freaking put it out there on Twitter. If anyone else saw it as ominous, then they would have let me know. No one did until now. So it's not ominous. I do. I meant every single word here. I still respect her, even after all this stuff, because she was the first VTuber, like first bigger VTuber to have contact with me, first VTuber who sent me to a Minecraft server, things like that. This whole situation hurt me as much as her. Uh, probably, I, I, I don't know if as much as her, but it hurt me a lot. And I meant this because, okay, if I wanted her to see this, I would have put it somewhere else. At this point in time, the point in time when I put this out, March 28th, she had already blocked me because as the screenshot, her own screenshot shows, she blocked me on the 24th. So I can't see any of her tweets. And I blocked her before this happened. She was blocked. So she couldn't see any of my tweets because I was like, if, I, if, if she wants to block me, I'm going to block back because I don't want her to see any of my tweets. I don't want her to see anything because she doesn't want to have anything to do with me. So I'm going to block her. She found this because, of course, people send these things to her. She was blocked at this point. She had no access to this, no access to my account. So who's stalking who, Lydia? So it's one thing I will say as a background of this, and I didn't want her to see this. I was just saying this to my friends. I looked up on her beginning when, she, when we met. She was bigger than me, had more experience, and was kind. That was what I wanted in a VTuber community, a close-knit group that would help each other out. I saw things she talked about. I wanted to try my hand at commenting on it as well. That's why you will see similar videos in my history. My videos are simple since it has always been a one man show. I'm very low income, so I never fancy things in my streams. I don't have I don't I, I don't have things like oh putting four thousand dollars to try to get a collab with Doki Bird. I don't have things like that. I don't because I don't have the money. I still don't have the money. My my community knows that. I try not to push that out because then it seems like begging, but I don't have the money. And worked with as many free things as I could. I don't have any team behind me and I stream a ton, so I do what I can do. I still respect her, as strange as that may sound, and still wish the best for her going forward. My graph included earlier demonstrated he was bigger channel, but I passed him in August. Also, I broke, I'm broke as heck too. I scrape by every month financially to the penny, but she can still uh, put out $4,000 to try to win a, an auction. Like, 
you look at the Doki Bird auction, you look at the history of the Doki Bird auctions for the collab with your favorite VTuber, it was that specific one. She spent over $4,000 on that. Uh, she even put it on her stream, on her own stream. You can look it up. She put it on her own stream during the during the the whole situation. The reason I know is because I was sent uh, images of this. I was like, wow, okay, cool. I mean, if she got it, great. I was sent images of this, of her stream by people that I will not name because, of course, she's going to say that they are stalking and blah, blah, blah. People watch her just like they watch me. Like, people watch out for her just like people watch out for me. That's what I mean to say. Rationalize, anything is done is imitating is what I do. If anything should be imitate a bigger creator, I I do imitate some bigger creators. Like, I imitate some, I take things from, like, false, uh, which, you know, I take some things from Kyo and the way he does his things, like, in the sense of the way they create their content, the way they curate their content. I try to emulate people that are bigger than me. I do. She's not the only one that, that has been emulated or anything like that. Because I'm a small creator, I want to, I don't copy like their direct styles and I never copied her direct style either. It's just a lot of similarities and, you know, someone looking up to someone else, I guess. But, um, but yeah, it's just, it's just weird. This whole thing's happening. Sorry to happen to see Salvi, what she even accused you of that we talk about the same things. Like I said, this was before I read this statement. This is before this thing happened that I thought, I thought back then innocently and stupidly, stupidly more than anything. That this was just about the Niti Sanji stuff. That this wasn't about anything because all the other stuff was far behind in my mind. Everything that was done is because it is news, duh, right? Justifies everything, right? A what? Uh, matching genres, matching thumbnails. Say, she's saying same thumbnails. She's saying everything is exactly the same. As I showed right here, not everything is exactly the same. This is my stuff. Um, this is her stuff. Back when the Fluke Guy stuff. We're just going back to the months. Um, everything, she says, all the content's exactly the same. So there's never any content that I do that is, is, uh, not directly copied from her, right? Absolutely nothing. So I don't have Billy Mitchell stuff, which she doesn't have. I don't have the Mama Max thing, which she doesn't have. I don't have Asmund Gold stuff, which she doesn't have. I, everything, every single little thing is a copy. Of course it is. Of course it is. Like I said, when you have the persecution complex, same live stream layouts, same Twitter friends. People can have the same Twitter friends. And I'm pretty sure they're not my friends anymore because people are going to choose who they're going to choose. They're going to choose the person with the Google Doc. That's absolutely what they're going to choose. Same YouTube titles, same fonts, same coloring. Eight months of history of this. Again. And here we go. Username in the Mount Salvia, Minecraft. Email would be blank. One minute. Yeah, like I said, long time ago. She added me on there. She added me back. Uh, the instructions, thank you. Yep, it's collab time in Minecraft. Uh, something great, you know, your schedule, I checked the server, it was massive and intricate. I have a full set of, uh, iron armor if you need it. Yeah, we we're trying to be friends, you know. Kind of resent having to make a document to prove I'm innocent. I kind of resent having to even make this video as well to prove my side. I have been friends with Salvi since September 2020, yes, when I popped out. I was happy to make a friend. It was scary in the world, it definitely is. What? has all gone down hurt me so much because this was a person I believe was my friend. I still saw her as a friend until this whole thing happened. I still did. I still hope, held out hope that she was going to contact me. I still held out hope that my messages here were going to be responded to. Uh, as of February, uh, February 28th, she never responded to any of them. Um, so I tried to reach out. I tried to fix things. As you can see here, there were other attempts to try to fix things. I said, I'm open to that, but can understand if there's no desire to. I respect her wishes. Basically leaving it open. I tried to leave it open. But she closed it off. She blocked me first. She did all these things. She never once communicated. Instead, she stewed and stewed until she made this document. She is trying to destroy me. She is weaponizing her bigger sphere of influence i don't doubt that eventually she's going to weaponize her friends she's going to weaponize her followers and she's going to weaponize people that orbit around her for these things i do not doubt that whatsoever because she's already doing that with this google doc she could have talked to me she could have uh said anything in regards to this like i said she didn't put this out here i wonder why she didn't put this out here i wonder why 
I responded here because I was confused I, before the allegations came out. I was very confused. So I put this out here. She didn't respond at all. And, you know, I, I after February 28th, I left it out there. If she didn't respond, I wasn't going to keep bugging her because then I was probably going to get blocked. And then any chance of actual communication was not going to happen. Yeah, Photoshop. You know what I use? I use Canva. I use Canva directly. Let's go here. Canva.com. Because I can't afford Photoshop. So here's my stuff. Here's my... Um, I don't have my design specifically here. Let me see if I can find my design specifically here. Here we go. Here's the latest Canva work that I did for my... Um, for my VTuber. For my VTubing stuff. PNGs. Here's every single thing I've ever put into Canva. Everything. Recently. Here's everything I put in here. Let me refresh because sometimes these things have issues with when you don't refresh. There we go. Um, let's go here on Canva. Here's everything I have. I grab the Vishojo, Lethal Company. I grab the videos of the, the, the actual things of everything. I even grabbed Riku as a clown. I grabbed Nidhi Sanji and I made my Nidhi Sanji look like this Nidhi Sanji because hell, it's the same exact thing. I, here's the thing I have for the blue surround. I worked through it. I'm not good at Photoshop, like I said. So I made it look like the blue surround worked. I have like four images of this. Like it's, it's actually a combined with four images. So I don't know how to do this. So this is how I'm doing it. Nidhi Sanji Yen, the different backgrounds I've used, Owozu, all this different stuff, all these different things. Um, you know, the different black backgrounds, the Hollow Life, Persona 3 Reload. Uh, the the prison cell things, the verses, the um, the bubble, all these things I've gotten my own. I've gotten my own. The X, the thing with with uh, the that there, the crying part, all of this I have on my own. All of this I grabbed on my own. All of this is through Canva. My different VTuber things, uh, my old VTuber thing, all of this is grabbed on Canva. I'm not copying anybody. I'm not stealing anything. Intimidating, I know. We've improved from doing. Unfortunately, don't have any consoles or capture cards. I want to get the next Switch. And then uh, she goes through what is RetroArch. And yeah, I do retro videos. I have, um, when it comes, like I said, when it comes to emulation, I have a Super Nintendo Mini, the Super Nintendo Mini, and I have the Nintendo Mini. So those are technically copies of games that are registered to me. And I can use those and emulate those on my PC since I don't have a capture card. Uh, yeah, you can have your model in your video just like any video you would produce. And here's the things like, here's the ideas that she gave me, yes. And here's the ideas that I grabbed, yes. Uh, make sure you're using good description. And here's more things like three hashtags, limited videos. I remember that. Yes, yeah, she did give me all this advice. She did. Like I said, she was a good friend. And I used that advice. Like she says, set one to reaction. And I took that as I could also put reaction or react or whatever also on my videos. But apparently that's copying. Apparently that's copying. So my dumbass did that. My dumbass got got treated like, well, the dumbass that I am. And I caught it was seen as copying her. And of course it says this is me. I started to learn YouTube algorithm. I started also watching, like I said, TubeBuddy, vidIQ. And yeah, she started giving me recommendations, the shoehorns your content. Uh, basically, you have to kind of niche down into a specific content. That's what every VTuber, every large VTuber knows. And as you can tell from my channel, uh, my content was very out there. It was just out there. It didn't hit anything. Nothing hit. So I ended up doing reaction content, and that hit a little bit. But it didn't hit as much as I sure. Like I said, very interesting that all of this, what I was getting, you know, 14 views, 2 views, no issues. No issues for months. Until until I started getting views on this channel. And I started getting 1.4. I started getting 2K views, 11K views, 11K views. That's when things started changing. That's when her personality changed fully, as you can tell by this one here, by her having this passive aggressive thing. I'm just gonna say, if you're doing podcasts on the same content, why not invite me to chat about it? That's passive aggressive. That seems like not jealousy, but anger that I'm doing well, that I'm no longer that small VTuber that she could hold over things from. That's what it seems to me now. I never thought about it like that until now. And she goes, you know, with YouTube algorithm, I took a look at that. And yeah, that's why I started niching down into news. Clear, pretty clearly establishes, been friends with him. She has, I never said anything different. Currently on Twitter, he is saying he was always the bigger, he 
that yeah she was i mean i guess i didn't pay attention to those times that i was the bigger one but i always saw her as the bigger one because i i guess i focused a lot on the twitch side because on twitch she's still way bigger than me on youtube i always saw her as the more the larger vtuber who has more pull and more sway i saw her as that that's why i tried to emulate her as much as i could That's what I try to do. And I'm not going to stop creating content. She wants to knock me down. She wants this to destroy me. I'm not. Yeah, there are going to be some people who leave. But no, I'm not going to let that happen. I'm not going to let myself be taken down by someone like her. I was only able to do so because I made the conscious decision to work hard daily and improve. As did I. She is saying that I'm lazy. She is saying that I didn't change things. You can look at my videos from the beginning and you can look at them now. They don't all have um, they don't all have memes in the beginning, though some of the more serious ones don't. They have a different structure. Sometimes I'm doing things that she's not doing at all. All these things are different. All these things change. I am actually putting effort. I'm actually putting effort. To do two videos a day, to do like 10 videos when she wasn't there, that's putting in effort. That's what is she saying that all of a sudden I could read her mind and then all of a sudden I had all these things. He did send me this apology message, which frankly means nothing. That's why she didn't respond. Actually sounds very kind until he realized it was sent while she was still imitating me after he was made aware. Again, the persecution fetish, I think. I met Collab, he was in the sh chat room. Ah, I don't remember that, but whatever. I Oh yeah, this was probably back then. Like back before this whole thing happened when I was trying to fix things. Uh, I released this document because I refuse to be painted as a villain. You're not painted as a villain. I don't see you as a villain. I just see you as someone who, I don't know, ended up getting paranoid. I see you more as someone who was just paranoid, that I was trying to steal your thunder, that I was trying to steal all your hard work. I don't see it as that. Other people even watching this video can see it as that, and that is absolutely, you have the right to see it that way. Because I don't want to change what other people see it as. But in my opinion, yeah, sometimes I flew too close to the sun. Sometimes, uh, because of my lack of creativity, I did use the same uh, similar thumbnails. Uh, I didn't use the same thumbnail, of course, because I had to make my own. Similar ideas and things like that. Because I was trying to see what I wanted to do. I was trying to see what stuck. I was trying to just experiment myself. And I'm going to fix those parts of me. I'm going to fix those parts of me. Whether or not uh, people care to even watch this video, whether or not people even care for my side, I want to put it out there. I want people to see it. My kindness was trampled on and my soul hurts. I didn't, I didn't intend for the kindness to be trampled. I didn't intend for that. If I would have known it was going that way, if I would have truly known that this is the way she felt, because she never, ever, ever mentioned this to me, not once. If I would have truly known how this, that it felt this way for her, and, I mean, the only way I found it out was now, and the recent tweets that she made, I would have never started doing that even way back in the day of, you know, trying to emulate her. And because I did, I looked up to her, I still do. But that was my mistake. My mistake was doing that because I hurt her. My mistake was emulating her and trying to make people care and try to make a community. Uh, that was my mistake. Um, but what I'm going to do going forward is I'm just going to do my content. Uh, if people like it, hate it, whatever, I'm going to continue doing it. Um, because I don't think I'm doing anything wrong right now. Yes, back in my Mad Salvi days. I, I flew a little too close to the sun, but like I mentioned, I did, I did differences. I made different things. Because I knew that I can't just be depending on content that that you know ideas that she's popped out because of the fact you know they're new things then i look at ref says desu they look at hero hey and i'm like maybe i should be doing something like this maybe you know gerard completionist i saw that gerard completionist was popping off with uh smash jt getting like 20k views things like that and i wanted to do that too i wanted to see if someone would listen if someone would pay attention to this tiny little squirrel no one did and she, that's why i'm saying like back then she didn't have a problem with that it just seems very suspicious um, she says here, after seeing his actions laid out, it's very much clear to me at least he saw everything as a competition, which I didn't, but, uh, she can see it as she wants. Um, that is her right to see it this way. I want to reiterate to you once last time, I don't care if you're talking about the same things, 
Subject matter, nobody owns a subject. Opinion-based content is interesting because of the opinion of the person. However, I do find it weird that he followed me through my entire career because, like I said, I was like a starry-eyed, bushy-tailed little squirrel looking up to a cat in this situation, um, admiring her and wanting to emulate her. That was my mistake uh, because, like I said, it made her feel uncomfortable. It made her feel weirded out. It made it feel like I was stalking her. It made her feel all these things, which are valid, uh, for her to feel because that is, of course, you know, her emotions. I'm not going to take away that from her. The issue is the intense amount of imitation over a prolonged period of time uh, pulls a heavy burden on me. I didn't know it was a heavy burden. I apologize to her for having that heavy burden. She didn't communicate anything with me. There was a communication issue here. She didn't communicate anything with me. I would have changed my stuff if she had mentioned this a long time ago. She had mentioned this before I created the second channel. I would have changed my stuff. I would have made sure to not make it that way. I would have made sure to make it super distinct so that in her mind, there would be no question. I did not know she felt this way. I, all I found out about her feeling this way is here. You know? Hijacking my exact same thumbnail style makes me sick. What's happening before, even before VTuber news? Especially because this was my friend and because he decided to operate in the same area as me. If he was operating in a different genre, no one would even know that he was imitating my style. And the fact that people confused uh, her with me and me with her uh, shows that, yes, I did, I did fly too close. I did fly too close. Um, but I don't think it was pure imitation. I don't think it was, um, I think it was emulation, really. Emulating the things she was doing because I, you know, I still look up to her. But um, I, you guys come to the conclusions that you want. I don't want to put words in your mouth. Showing you more than enough proof, and this person, in my opinion, imitated my thumbnails, my subject matter, not to mention tons of other weird things. Yeah, she calls me a weirdo. I, I really don't appreciate that. I feel that is um, defamation. But of course, I'm not rich, so I can't put that against her. Right now he's playing the victim online, in my opinion, while at the same time saying stuff like he respects me. <sighs> I guess I can't respect her. I guess I can't say that anymore because she sees that as a bad thing. So I guess I can't say that anymore. He actually respected me in any way. He would have understood how I felt. I said before, like I said before, this is my fault. This is my failing. This is me being just, I guess, a horrible human being. I have autism, highly functioning autism. I'm not good. I, what it does is that it prevents me from really fully understanding human social relationships, uh, social cues. Any normal person out there probably would have been able to understand this. But I'm dense, and that's because of my situation. And that makes it so that people that I know, friends that I have around me, have had to write things out and explain things to me because I'm a dense motherfucker. Of course, you guys can believe me or say this is an excuse. That is, what, that is your prerogative. But I know because I have that. And I've been like that since I've... My family's told me I lack tact. And um, sometimes I say some, some things that hurt. That should never be said in polite company because I have that lack of human understanding, that understanding of human social situations. I have empathy and other things like that, but I don't understand human social situations very well. That's my fault. I'm an adult. I should have been able to handle that better. But um, my brain doesn't default to social aspects. That's why I'm an outcast. I've been an outcast even before the situation happened. Worked super hard for a very long time to figure out the YouTube works and evolving daily. Don't appreciate someone pretending they they don't know what they did. I'm not pretending, Lydia. I had no clue that you felt this way. I'm not pretending. I know now, which makes me feel worse. I know now. I didn't know that back then. I didn't know that up until I read this whole thing, the way you felt, because you never once communicated with me. In fact, during some of this, you acted like nothing was happening. Like, even we'll go back to the, 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 the one that I showed you guys. She was just talking like normal. This was in February 12th. She was talking to me like normal. She never mentioned it once to me. She may have been like, you should have gotten the hint with what I wrote on the 12th, but I'm a dumbass. It's no excuse, no full excuse. I own up to what I've done, but I'm a dumbass. You can see here that I'm a dumbass. She even hearted my freaking comments. I'm a dumbass here. I wasn't taking, I wasn't pulling in the rope that she was giving me. I wasn't pulling in the, the bait, the whatever that she was giving me. This, she was acting like nothing was wrong. And then all of a sudden, now she doesn't talk to me. For me, that confuses the hell out of me. It does. I'm still confused. But I can understand where she's coming from. You know? 
I think there's so much overwhelming evidence you might actually glaze over some, but for me, the person experiencing it, now it's called the copier by his fans. I don't appreciate people calling out of the copier because she's not, even if, even if we were doing the exact same things, exact same everything, people can have similar ideas, similar thumbnails and everything. I'm not seeing it as copying. Like I mentioned, that tweet up above, I didn't read it right. I was stupid. I'm a dumbass. I'll admit I didn't read it right. And I'll admit I like it because I thought she was just coping, coping with whatever situation she was with, coping uh, and blaming me is what I thought. I thought she was blaming me just because she was going through some stuff. The why disappeared in my brain. I don't know why. But yeah, and the, on the, uh, the actual visual part, it looks really bad. That I hearted a, co a one of copying. And I don't feel that she's copying me. I don't feel that she ever copied me. If anything, I emulated her, like I said. And you can see emulating, copying, the same thing. That is, again, your prerogative. I feel it was just someone that was looking, um, looking for something interesting. Because I saw it as interesting, I was like, oh, this is Kermit is Palpatine. I looked up Kermit is Palpatine. And then I, I made a video on it. I, I don't even know when all the videos that I have like are done. She has, obviously she has a very, she has a very um, focused mind. She has a way better mind than I do. I forget about things I do the next day. She has a way better mind than I do about all this. So... Let's see, it would have been great if this person would just say, yeah, I did that. I acknowledge it. I shouldn't have. I acknowledge it here. I specifically have. Even before you mentioned here, I acknowledge I made some mistakes. I acknowledge I went too close to the sun. I acknowledge now, knowing how angry she is and how hurt she was by that, I should have taken some hints and taken some clues. But she didn't mention a damn thing to me. I was just like, okay, it's cool. And honestly, I do feel like it was just because I was small. She didn't care. It didn't affect her at all. Now it affects her bottom line. And that's when she's going aggressive. That's just my opinion, the way I feel. Someone apologizing on the internet and correcting their actions is extremely rare. Like I said here, I apologize. I did it do something. If I did something very wrong, again, showing how much of a dumbass I am. Let me know as I do not like doing things to hurt others. I saw your message last night and was going to sleep, so I didn't answer. I want to apologize properly if any actions I took caused pain. And there we go. It, it may sound like a half-assed apology, but I'm trying to trying to fish here. I'm trying to see what's going on, and I'm not getting anything. If Salvi has a rebuttal, nitpicking one thing I messed up in a 60-plus page document, please disprove literally everything you can't, and you know it. I'm making... It's not just a small one. I'm making everything. If you read this far, thank you for your patience and understanding, blah, blah, blah. I'm um, sorry it took so long. Sorry I came across as grumpy. Further, I got into research. The more I realized, well, it's even deeper than I thought. This link includes a scroll through the channels as they stand now, since I believe he will try to scrub the evidence. I'm not going to scrub the evidence. I'm going to leave it exactly as it is. Why? When you scrub the evidence, you pretty much prove to them that you, what they said is true. I'm going to leave the evidence up there. Let people decide. I'm actually going through it right now. I have not scrubbed any of it. The similarities is all that she's going to be showing you. The similarities is all she's going to be showing you. She's not going to be showing you all these new things down here of, of hers. Like all these things that were done here. Of course she's going to react to this. I reacted to Resident Evil game in 10 minutes four months ago she doesn't have anything resident evil game in 10 minutes she did pokemon horizons i didn't do anything with pokemon horizons i did garfield i did jujutsu kaisen curse clash i did uh 300 seconds watching dragon quest the atari 2500 you know some things i did some things i didn't dream allegations i don't think i did anything with the dream allegations you're looking here let's take a look uh four months ago i didn't do anything with dream allegations i'm doing my own thing Yes, like I said, some of these things are uninspired. Absolutely, I agree. Some of these things are uninspired, the, the thumbnails at least. And some of the things that, that she had there were uninspired, that for me, weren't inspired as well. I wanted to emulate someone who I respected, and I still do respect. But things aren't going to get fixed. Things are going to happen because she has her own way of seeing things. I'm not going to scrub anything. You, you can see my channel. You can see both channels. You can see everything. This is a uh, Salvi VTuber. This is the other things here. Um, you know, GTA, deleted info, uh, the, the, everything, everything here. Uh, the, tw the 12 Days of Nutmiss, the Grand Dizer U, the Isabel. Three months ago, she did nothing with Isabel three months ago. 
She didn't do anything with Isabel three months ago. I did that. Even on my other channel, I was doing Ultimate How to Train Your Dragon recap. I did the Ultimate. She didn't do anything like that. I was doing my own things. It wasn't every single thing. What she's trying to make it seem like is every single thing that's out there was copied directly. Every single thing that happens was copied directly. I had no thoughts of my own. I had no things of my own. Absolutely everything was done copying her. That's what she tries to put out there. And I'm just putting it out that no, I don't copy everything. I have some things with Kyo here. We do it on the MF Ghost that I did myself because I also like, you know, I like the racing stuff. FNAF Help Wanted, uh, Skibidi Toilet, FF7 Rebirth. I did um, No Nut no, no Novembers. I did Yu Hakusho. The, I did the uh, the Mario RPG, as I also showed earlier in the stream and the, the video. I did uh, live streams of that. I finished Super Mario RPG, the, the remake. I finished it. So, yeah, there were some things that were copying. The Persona 3s, I, I had my own thumbnails for those. The Sword Online, the My Hero Academia. I took this from the thumbnail that of the person who did it, and then I did my own. And, um, like, the... the some thumbnails, like, since I'm doing the actual video, why not show the thumbnail of the video? Uh, that was my mistake four months ago as well. Um, MF Ghost again. Skibbity Toilet. Ebenezer. Uh, WarioWare. I don't know if she did anything WarioWare-wise. We can take a look down here. Four months ago, she did Speed Racer. I didn't do that. You can just look. Just compare. Use it yourself. Compare yourself. Realities, I feel this person took advantage of everything. I offered them and more. If you read all this and think I'm the bad guy for exposing it, if you block me now, don't need to interact. I would rather know the truth of how you feel about me than carry on more friendships like the one I had with Salvi. I take my friendships very seriously. I care unapologetically. I will watch your content and support you. I will go out of my way to lift you up and cheer you on. However, I won't tolerate someone doing this ever again. If I was to predict a response to this, it would be that he would triple down again because there's zero self-reflection. Uh, again, I've reflected on my stuff. I'm not going to triple down. You may see it as doubling and tripling down. But I reflected on my stuff. That's how little you know me. That's how little you tried to know me. I admitted that, yes, I flew too close to the sun. I admitted that I emulated a little too closely. I admitted all these things. I showed it. I straight up showed it. And I also showed that I'm a dense motherfucker. That I don't get social cues. I haven't since I was small. I'm a bit of a different brain. That's not a big excuse for everything. But I'm a bit of a different brain. I've shown everything. And yeah, she goes down here. Like I said, that was because I thought it was cool. I looked at it myself. I looked at the Papa Teen thing myself. And I thought it was cool. And that's why I went and did it. That's exactly why I went and did it. I thought, wow, she found something that I never would have found. I'll admit that. She found something that I never would have found. And I thought it was cool. And I re reacted to it. I mean, I've done that for other things. Like Hero Hey puts out things that I think is cool and I react to it. Uh... Ref says Desu does the same thing. I react to it. Um, like I, I find where they found their sources and I do my own things to it. False ID, the same thing. I find my own sources and do, do it to it. Kyo, the same thing. And I guess the main thing is that I'm, I don't know why she never wanted to talk to me before. Even years. I thought she saw me do this. If she would have told me I really feel uncomfortable with this, if she would have told me, you know what? I really feel uncomfortable with this back in the day. We wouldn't have gotten to this point. It's as much her fault as it is mine for not communicating. We both did not communicate right. Now, some of you will say, you don't have to communicate. This is something that's obvious. It should be obvious. It wasn't obvious to me. I'm a dumbass. I'll admit that 100%. It wasn't obvious to me. It should have been. In hindsight, hindsight being 2020, I should have seen it. And I should have stopped it in hindsight. But um, hindsight is twenty twenty. In that moment, I just thought, hey, you know, these are all these cool things that she's talking about. I look up to her. So I'm going to talk about it too. And like I said, I didn't get any views. It was like a two view, one view, that type of thing. But now that I'm actually getting big things, she thinks I am stealing content from her. She thinks I'm stealing viewership from her. She thinks I'm stealing everything from her. I'm not her competition. I'm not. I am not as big as her. I don't have friends like her. I don't have all this thing like her. I'm not that competition. I'm not. And uh, like I said, I'll leave you with that. And I do apologize for each and every one of you for having to go through all this whole thing. I wanted to reach it point by point. 
Uh, if you have decided whatever you have decided, I don't want to push you one way or the other. You decide yourself with the information that's given to you, the information that's shown. Um, I will be better. I will do better. I will, if you guys see that it is that way, let me know down below that, yeah, I fucked up. Uh, because I'm seeing it from my lens. And I want to see it from your lens. Let me know straight up. I fucked up. I, I messed up on this whole thing. You guys don't trust me anymore, whatever. Let me know. And uh, I will try to fix things from now on. Uh, the one thing I didn't want to do originally, honestly, the one way, one reason why I didn't change my thumbnail size, my thumbnail style, because once she started accusing me of that, when you change right after that, it's a tacit agreement that they're right. And I didn't feel that she was right. I felt that I took inspiration from something she did, but I changed it enough where it is my own. Like I add shadows to mine. I add um, the glow around my stuff. I try to at least. I differentiate myself. So that's why I didn't feel, at least with the current stuff, the Nidisanji stuff, that I was doing anything wrong. I didn't feel that way. Now, of course, you guys down below can tell me if you did. And if you did, and then if enough of you did, then um, I will make changes to make sure that this doesn't happen again. I appreciate you for giving me a second chance if you do. I appreciate you for going through all of this. It's going to be like a two-hour thing. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. See you guys next time. This is the Matt Salvi uh, dealing with everything that's popping up and trying to become a better squirrel. Thank you.